I'm basically just like okay. chatting with, and I announced that like hopefully I got them all like riled up and mm -hmm. liking me. I'll like try to like you know see if now they'll be more amicable to me, mm -hmm. pointing me the direction of somebody. Um, yeah, you know, um, give me a d20. A ten, right down the middle. Ten, alrighty. Um, they will uh, let you know that probably the best person to speak that they could think of is like the leader of their um, uh, garrison. He's a cool dude. Okay, now Discord crashed. I don't know, like something weird is going on. Like yeah, now yeah, all of a sudden this guy decided to it kill itself. Uh, is everything okay now or just seem okay? There's still one program that is not reacting in the background, but that is like everything else is fine. Like everything that is necessary is working. Okay. Okay. Like weird, weird tech things. Um, yeah. Okay. happens uh, all right um, uh, what I was saying before um, the person they think of that you could speak with uh, comes to their mind is the, um, the leader of the garrison who is probably like a like rank wise um, officer level so the same rank as tenor um, okay uh, yeah 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 like I'll uh, get get it get their name try to like, mm -hmm. you know go and chat with like, try to you know See, see when they're like, see if I can, like, they can one of them can introduce me or something and go from there. Um, uh, they, they give know, you like the least. name. Um, the name is let's see, who do we have in names? Uh, da -dum -dum -dum. Ooh, the name is uh, Z Sarah S E R A S E R A. <laughs> S -E -R -A. Oh, Sarah, okay, Sarah, yeah, uh, alrighty. A lady. Yeah. I will see like one of the one of the lads will you know, like, like when they think it's a good time to go chat with them or if they're like just available if they're available um, yeah. center. Um, they will let you know that um, she usually shows up like sometime later oh in the bar mm -hmm. oh I'll just hang up and yeah, yeah. perfect uh, he can duty. continue drinking uh, I'm not gonna I'm not he's gonna like not drink a lot he'll be like you know do it'll like drink very slowly and yeah. The next thing um, can you give me just a quick constitution check to see if you fail catastrophically? Um, oh, 28, easy. No. It's, yeah. it's normal, normal, normal time out in. Yeah. Um, Maybe I'll save this place. Yeah, uh, just because um, like the other people here, they are used to drinking all the time. And you, oh, since yeah. you like have access to magically purified water and shit like this, you know, um, I'm not used to it. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, you're not drinking that much alcohol as the hours, so... What? That's true, yeah. Oh, maybe yeah. maybe it was power for like half a second or so, because now it's starting to rain. Oh. Okay. Hmm. But why would things crash at different times? That is true. And the PC yeah, never shot... No, it was not power. Makes no sense. Oh, but anyways... um. Uh, Sarah, she's the leader of the 3rd Division's garrison, um, if that has any uh, specific meaning to you. Um, the third yeah. division you can sit around uh, like uh, sometime later, like four hours later, like um, towards, towards afternoon, like late afternoon. Um, uh, she will come inside and like the people you're drinking with. Uh, they have like interchanged a bit, but like somebody always, yeah, you're talking around enough. Um, you have to like repeat things. They they talk about like the one time you knocked out the other guy. And, um, yeah, they just keep they just, yeah they keep so repeating like the same story over and over again. Common knowledge of why you are here is spread throughout the the group that you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay. I imagine it gets spread through the bar pretty easy as well because they're probably rowdy. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so they will let you know when Mrs. Zero shows up. Alrighty, I'll, you know, 
Is she, is she coming alone? Just coming with other people, or like what? Like she sit down with uh, other people, or? See, she comes in. Uh, she comes in with a group of people, um, but they clearly just like walked here together. She's not here with them. Just oh, okay. coincidence. Uh, she heads over to the bar, sits at the bar, gets like a, uh, something to eat, something to drink. Uh, that will let yeah, you know. And like very quickly after she comes in, like some random dude like <laughs> walks up to her and. Um, oh God. Uh, I think I'll, I'll, she like shoes him away. Uh, yeah, I'll, I was I was gonna yeah I'll I'll wait until she's still pulling rank in here. Sure, I mean, she is like the the person here. Like people seem to be like not afraid of her, um, but they're respecting her privacy. If she says like get the fuck away, they leave her. Yeah, and yeah. I'll, I'll do the the normal the more normal thing and just wait until it looks like she's like been there for a while and then mm. like you know like been there, like for a, like not a while but like a bit and then go and like try to like hey do you want to mm -hmm. like, you mind if i sit down want to want to mind if i order a drink for you that sort of shit not like not in like a hitting on you way but more like i'm trying <laughs> to talk to you sort of way yeah probably um, comes across as hitting on maybe but it's, that's not his intention it's the yeah. intention's different but it might come across the same yeah um mm, okay we're like trying to have it in but yeah. I, I realized that after i said that i'm like oh, that's perfect yeah. perfect um She's not, uh, she's like decently looking, uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, then again, she's wearing like guild things. Uh, she's like in, mm -hmm. clearly in her uh, official attire here. Um, she's yeah. not getting hammered. So um, yeah, uh, you can walk over to her and uh, uh, say hello. Uh, that's totally fine. Uh, yeah, you are in a like bar, you are allowed to approach. Like, hey, do you mind if I sit down next to you? Sit down, like, you know, Ah, uh, She looks and notices that, um, I assume you didn't put your plate mail back on. Or do you, did uh, you put your plate mail back on? But I, have, I don't know, probably, maybe. How long has it been? It's been, like, hours, so. Hours, I probably, yeah. like, had, like, I probably don't have the plate mail on that. It's probably, it's probably like, uh, in the corner. It's probably, like, you know, in, yeah. like, near, in, like, seeing distance of me, if, mm -hmm. like, she looks around. Like where I, I came from, it's sort of at the table I came in. Your stuff is like at your table, right? Yeah, it's probably. I imagine like if she was looking or saw me coming, I walked from the table with like plate mm -hmm. mail on it. Yeah. And I also have like if she's looking at like my hands, I have like magic like super nice rings on and stuff like mm -hmm. that and mm -hmm. a weird belt. Yeah. Um, it gives also, you a like, yeah. glance and yeah, well, you know, notorious person. She recognizes who you are and says, oh. "Well, well, well, hi, visitors." I haven't seen you here in a while. Wait, what did you call me? High visitors. High visitors. Oh, mm. uh, I mean, I used to. <laughs> I'll smile. I'll, I'll sit down. I'll, I'll, okay, I'll be. Uh, I used to come here quite. A, I used to come here quite a lot, actually. Yeah, I've seen you alone. around here a few times. Hmm? It has been a while. Mm. She motions to the seat next to her. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll slide the chair out and sit down. Mm -hmm. Be like, uh, yeah. Well, how have things been while I've been gone? Kept the kept the place still the same. Anything anything major happen? Food is still very uh, barely ed edible. Huh? The recruits are still rowdy. Uh, the invokers are still city. Seems to be <laughs> still seems seems to still be the same place. Okay, see, that's good. The only thing in here that you can enjoy is drinks, because if you drink enough, you're not no longer annoyed by the invokers. Things. <laughs> uh, she smiles. Cheers to that. <laughs> but you know, uh, I'll, 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 yeah, I'll like I'll small talk for a little bit about mm -hmm. like you know how's like the the bartenders yeah. you, whatever you doing. Small talking for... and it takes like three sentences when she like gives you like a, a, a stop signal and says there's been like eight people bothering me about speaking with you so I assume you have reasons why you're here yes yeah, so I'll st uh, yeah. it'll stop me like yeah oh, I'll get straight to business then she knows do you know and who do you who in the military guild is who in the military guild wants to help the, the people retake the villages out east looking for them i would like to have a conversation with them I'd like to see who they are and what their capabilities are if any if there's any 
I'm not talking about fresh recruits, fresh soldiers, because they're just gonna die out there. I'm looking for people who are capable. Mm-hmm. She like takes a takes a swig from her pitcher and then says, "Well, that is an interesting question you have there. Why, why would anybody want to retake these places?" like pause for a moment like just they gotta articulate his first sentence and be like people used to live there they had families families lived there for generations they had things they left behind and they feel it only leave it behind their rightful place to be there their rightful place to retake it need be they didn't leave by choice they were driven away Mm. And from what the birds chirp around town, the reason is you? A blank. <laughs> uh, orcs came and invaded. I no, I still don't entirely know the reason why they invade. Like they, I can kind of think. Did you ever tell me tell us about the the thing he stole? That was the reason. I don't think he did. At least told Oliver. I remember. I don't think he ever told. Yeah, I don't think oh, they. Came. Well, I mean, you go around. I think he like. Said yeah, but I don't think I don't think he ever like told us specifically. Like that's like that's the reason why they were like that's the this is the thing that the orcs wanted. That that's why they attacked. Oh yeah, I, I don't, I'm, I don't I'm know pretty if... certain you never found out what the orcs really wanted. You yeah, them. yeah, I think we just kind of like we had an assumption, but they just kind of like mm. we never really knew for a fact. Like out of character, at least I think it's the, the, the talisman thing. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'll be like, yeah, I have no idea why they attacked, mm-hmm. but did attack. The orcs are driven away, and they're just over Germanian as far as I'm aware. Yes, that's what I heard as well. Still two occupied cities, and two cities nobody wants to live in, because the chance of getting attacked again are quite high. Well, people want to live there. It's the village. I think the people that want to live there have a right to have their homes retaken and who will defend them once they mm-hmm. have retaken their homes or are you planning to eradicate every last ogre in the forest I don't even think that's possible if well, it was we would have done it already probably yeah it never was possible before <sighs> let me be blunt with you the military guild didn't help them out before i don't think they will help them out after but if people want to live there they should have a right to live there yeah even if even if it's only I safe agree. for a while i agree that they if they want to live there they should be allowed to live there i'm not going to stop them i'm just but, thinking about the sense the sense behind it oh, yeah. why you it, why would you want to live in a place that is hostile to you? There's like enough room <laughs> this side of the river. There's enough safe towns that you could be in. I mean, people live out. Uh, people live out by Green Peak. People live by in Cape Joy. People live near Low Bay Woods. But used to people live by they live in Riverside where the Orcs used to be. I I don't think it's our choice. I don't think it's your our I don't think we have the right to determine who and where people want to live and it seems to me that the kingdom is you know, has periods of instability and danger and nowhere is safe sometimes. Until recently the bandits were provo- bandits and goblins and the like were provoking people everywhere. People still lived here. Do you do, do you think that we the people out here didn't have a right to live here when the goblins and bandits were running amok and orcs? It's a little unsafe at times. You know, we get... Anyway. There are periods of instability, for sure. That doesn't I, mean that they don't have a right to live there. I don't strictly disagree with you. I'm just, you know, as a person put in charge of... Well, she, like, points around the room. The silly bunch. I... I don't know if it is my my place to risk their lives for 
somebody else's life just because they are born into the guild that they are in now. You mm. already have the forever war going on with with the gate. It has been stable for the last hundred years, I guess, but still. It's constant skirmishes at the gate. Uh, part of my my group has to help out at the gate as well. Then, you know. I guess. My question is why what? risk one okay. life to to help somebody else risk their life. That is the answer that I can't find for myself. I don't think I can answer that for you. That is something you have to discover for yourself, but... I am not asking you to risk your life, or you to risk your men's life. All I'm asking is for... All I'm really asking for at this point in time is, do you know anybody who would want to risk their life that is capable? Anyone who's, who wants to? They want to be I'm a... I'm not even strictly senior. against risking my life. I understand your sentiment. But how do you, how do you plan on keeping these places safe? I think you're spot on. The military guild will not send reinforcements there, at least not at the moment. Unless you convince I think somebody after they else. Cleared out, would they not send it after the cleared out? Maybe, if you're lucky. And people are rebuilding. But, uh. The only thing the higher ups have a good is, reason, they probably won't. How likely would it be that the military guild would either. Directly, publicly, or indirectly, support the building of them being able to protect themselves. They don't want to help out, like directly, about send some trainers over there, give them, supply them with armor and weapons. They want to, if they want to live there and support themselves. Then the military guild is nothing involved. They don't have to risk the, the military guild's men. Then they can defend their homes if they want to. I mean, indirectly, we have the okay to every man that wants to help. Is allowed to, but we also have mm. directly the do not send men. No, no, that's what I mean is, is you don't, you're not sending men, you would be sending, you can train people out here in, in the barrios out in wherever, wherever they want to be trained, and then they can go back to living in their home out, out east. You can supply them with armor and arms, you're not sending people. I don't know if it's possible, but I don't know if it's likely, but the military guild doesn't get involved, or doesn't like doesn't have to, since he's trying to like stop himself from just like like shitting on the military guild, but like he like pause from the military guild doesn't want to get involved for their reasons. They can protect the people can protect themselves. You, uh, you asked about training. You're not aware that uh, uh, one of the platoon officers has decided to leave recently and is working with the militiamen? No, I did not hear about that. Oh. Uh, Came, I was been gone for recently. Hmm. Oh, I happened like a month, month and a half ago, I think. Yes, I've been gone during that time. To, to my understanding, um, he, uh, that's one of the people who uh, wants the uh, once the ban on on the ban on supporting has been lifted, decided to uh, go help out. That's oh, wait, sorry, the ban on what? Uh, when the when the 
uh, information came from higher up that uh, people who want to support the militia could uh, uh, send them when, when that information got public uh, he headed uh, to somewhere where the militia is gathering I don't know where that exactly would be <laughs> but uh, so. he I mean he's a platoon manager so good at training I see oh, well thank you for that and anyone else who's sympathetic or everyone else pretty much the same you don't want to risk anything as I said it's if you can convince single people to help you uh, that is probably going to be your best chance if you find an answer for me why why should I risk my life to allow somebody else to die or if you find a way to make oh. sure that that risk is not well what's going to be the solution I might also be willing to help you so I'm gonna think for a moment why did you join the military to begin with yes I never joined why am I asking I was born in a family mm. why'd you stay Where should I go? I do not know. Sweet, I... Why did you, I guess, why do you train? Why do you not, why do you not just like stumble along and, or why do you, I mean, you must have done something to get into this position. Like, were you just born in this as well? Must have saw something in it to get this far. Just my life path, I guess been training since I was a little kid. My father was part of the military guild. My mother was part of the military guild. It's just where you end up sometimes. And I have been mm. working hard and working inside of the system to get to where I am. I see. Because what is the military guild to you, I guess? What is its purpose? I don't know. I honestly don't know what the purpose is. But I am a good soldier. I don't need to ask this question. Hmm. Well, good thing I'm not a good soldier then. She gives you a smile. A good thing you aren't. Good thing not everybody is a good soldier. I at least I thought the military guild's purpose was to. Nah, never mind. It's fine. It. I don't think it matters. It doesn't matter what I think the military guild should, should be. It matters what it currently is and what it can be. I admire you train of thought I assume it wouldn't be too difficult to convince a bunch of green ears to follow you into battle but no that's the that's easy as you just said many of them would just die yeah well I guess I'll go speak to this platoon manager and see what they have to say if they know Do you know their name? Do you? Do you? Oh. Um, no, she doesn't. Well, thank you for the conversation, Sarah. I'll... I'll be back in Barrios probably somewhat in the future, so change your mind. Let me know if you find mm -hmm. out. Or if you just find out why you're in the military guild to begin with, I'd be happy to hear it. You come up with? What answer you come up with? She gives you a nod. And I... Uh, slight bow. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll go collect my armor and stuff and mm -hmm. head out. Yep. I'll, I'll, you know, say goodbye to everyone. And yep. Head out. Alrighty. Can... Alright, I've got a fucking platoon manager to talk to. 
Right. Yeah, he'll do that for tomorrow, though, because it's like evening. Yep. All right. Uh, all right. He will, I guess, the next, assuming he sleeps, yeah, I'll go sleep that okay. night. Uh, yeah, and then he will go to the temple to amend the statement in case uh, Chris and uh, Nell show up, that he will be in a monastery. Mm -hmm. uh, in the meantime, like for like how like uh, for the near future, and if he's not here, mm -hmm. he's not, basically if he's not here. He's at the monastery. Basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you let the people in the Barrios Temple know that. Yeah, in the Barrios Temple, because that's like where he told them to meet up at. Yeah. Ah, okay. Because okay. yeah. like, I assume because it, it went from the because he sent it to the other temple, so I'm assuming it's going to go to the other the Barrios Temple. Uh, oh, like it's where you told them to look uh, for you. Sure, I'll just say the Barrios Temple then. Mm -hmm. That works. Um, yeah, I'll just right. and that, add that statement if they get there before I come back. Okay. I All will right. head out to the mm -hmm. fucking monastery place and see where the militia is. All right. Kill two the ones that I can pay off as well. Yeah. Uh, you hop onto your magic horse and zoom and away. Then... And uh, arrive at the monastery. Yeah. And um, the um, construction of the monastery has been going well. It is like. Uh, it is uh, already in a livable condition. Mm -hmm. um, there's still a few tents around, um, but like the building is um, well enough uh, built that you can live in it, and um, they are like finishing up like construction things around it, building like um, the other buildings that you need around it, like doing things like this. But like the main building has almost finished. And uh, okay. apart from the fact that it's not as nice as it's like on here, but it's like, yeah, yeah, kind of what okay. it looks like. There's like some resting places, they have like this inner courtyard before, um, where you see a few people standing around. Um, uh, I put like these 10 people on here for a specific reason, and there's like a dining hall, a kitchen, uh, a meeting room, and they are at the moment also like like that's like one part of the building and then hey they have like a place of worship that they are constructing separately i see okay that's perfect. Um, yeah perfect. so that's like the living area and it's going to be like somewhat fortified so people are safe when they're here um mm. yeah mm -hmm. things like this yeah right. um perfect. yeah and right. as you right. arrive right. and and talk with the people um there's like a handful of um like guards around and uh, you can like ask away to to find out what's going on here and you will come up with basically the information um these 10 people that are put on the map here um that are the 10 guards you paid for there's like basically where you invested money in the guards went and then there's also um this guy in the middle okay who is He's a new the, guy um the before mentioned platoon manager who came here to train the guards. And nice. um, um, so without any more intervention by you, um, you will, uh, by the time November comes around, uh, end up with at least 10 capable fighters, um, which will all be uh, first level fighters um, okay. and not zero of level shit is okay um okay. that's kind of what the platoon manager is able to do in this time i say okay mm -hmm. i will next yeah, so i guess I'll, I'll, I'll go meet with the platoon manager then after seeing mm -hmm. them or like yeah. after like having chat with the other people first yeah um uh and <laughs> oh and maybe okay. a bit surprising to you um uh your two friends that you're looking for uh Nell and oh, Chris here. are here. They are helping oh, out with the construction of this uh, building. Oh, shit. Sure. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, perfect. Everything worked out. Coincidence is coincidencing. Um, sure. But they heard that you are in construction of this, and that seems to them to be a worthwhile thing to spend their time with, uh, unless they have something else to do, which, you know, your deity isn't that hands-on as others might be. Um, they are also priests, not paladins, so... Mm -hmm. different uh, different interaction schemes here um, they are not yeah. being sent on missions or being requested somewhere so they can spend their time they do what they, yeah. 
and do what they want. They, okay. they seem so, all right. Perfect. Yeah. I will. Who do I see? Who do I meet up with first? Then you can okay. decide that. Um, you will meet up with the um, building manager, I assume. Yeah, probably. That's probably like where I'm going towards. Like when I see the train, that's probably the first thing that catches my eye. Um, you know the the building manager. The, oh, the building manager. Oh yeah, I'll building manager. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know what the English. Uh, foreman. The foreman. Whatever. Yeah, like, foreman. Like the person who oversees enough. construction. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, meet up with this guy. Uh, he is called Felix. Felix. Mm -hmm. Um, that is all taking place in Tarrega, so we need a places. So yeah, I'll inquire about what's going on with Felix and okay. pay him the rest of the money as well. Ah, uh, yeah, Felix will let you know that um, things are going well, construction is working, they didn't have many issues, um, the surrounding towns have been uh, very generous with um, uh, helping them, um, things are going very quickly, faster than expected, um, which too. is um, a good thing because building usually takes longer than expected. Um, the rain season didn't have much impact. Uh, the ground seems to be uh, very um, well uh, prepared, um, so they didn't have any had, didn't have sogging issues. Um, no major problems. The guards had to shoot away a few bears from time to time, but other than this, uh, nothing weird going on. Um, yeah, so basically everything seems to be quite nice. Okay. And um, to hear, Felix. the biggest problem that they encountered so far where I think most of the bears. Oh, it's yeah. not too bad then. I think. Yeah. Pretty sure. Uh, other than this, no issues. Um, yeah, that is the highest risk thing that runs around here at the moment. I'll mm -hmm. clasp him on the shoulder and be like, uh, great, great, great to hear that. Uh, yeah. You know, if this money f finishes it up, then, you know, yeah. continue on with great progress. Yeah. Um, the, Give you a thumbs up and yeah that's basically all that is necessary um all right i just noticed that there should be a second level to this building huh i have to look at it. it later yeah uh, now talk to the platoon manager i guess because probably the yeah. person i know is actually here oh that is level it's level two Watch this platoon manager be like level three, and that's it. Oh, oh shit! I can see it now. Yeah. Okay. Um, technology. Technology, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, you had to uh, had to the platoon manager. Why? Why is it always always women? That's <laughs> a very very high level of women in my campaign for some reason. All the high up people are women, pretty much. Yeah, it's like crazy. Huh? It's oh, that's, a, that's some social commentary right there. Yeah. Um, so, this person is named Tammy. Alright. And so Tammy. To Tammy. Yeah, Tammy will say, uh, Welcome. I heard about you. You must be Oliver. Yes, I am. I heard about you as well. Or didn't catch your name exactly, but I heard that reputation. I heard about your reputation a little bit. Hmm? Quit, Tammy. left the military guild. I did not leave the military guild. I am on unpaid leave. Oh, I see. I missed the taking plan, but... time off um, to train these fine people here. <laughs> Give a smile. Uh, well, very. I, I I do appreciate it a lot. It means. means a lot, I guess. That's all. How, how they been? How they looking? Well, I've been working with them for a month or so, and they seem to be quite decent. Um, they are motivated, which is a big thing. And um, they're doing fine. I'm That's confident good. that we will get them into, well, the fighting shape. See, that's great. Great to hear. 
and uh I'll like I'll, I'll like pull her over to the side a little bit. It's like we're not pull over, like even like we're like quiet if we can just have like no one going over here as we're doing mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. And be like uh what would you you understand what what's going on, I assume. So were you are you planning on helping in fighting as well or just training? I just want to understand, make sure I understand correctly. I'm not requesting you or asking us. Mm -hmm. Give me a charisma check. So another twenty-eight. Exactly the same. Twenty-eight. She like gives a gives a sigh, and then says, uh, "Unfortunately, I very well know what is going on here, and to be honest." I I just want to give them a chance. Although I don't suspect that with the current amount of men that are here we stand any chance. No, I agree entirely. Against the force of a, a clan, two clans of ogres and half ogres. Plus whatever else goblins and orcs they might have as well, like flying around. Yes. I am willing to risk my life, but I think it's just a drop on a hot stone. Do you know any but any other capable warriors that might you might be able to convince? Or I, I can help convince. I tried before I left, but that's a very, you know, um, not many people are motivated and, well, there might be some, some people that will help, but they will help when they think there's a fighting chance. So, hmm. Hmm. Conundrum then. Yes. You need more, we need more capable people to make it seem like we have a fighting chance, but getting those capable people is going to be the hard part. Basically. Hmm. You have any idea, do you have any, do you have any, any ideas how we might be able to convince them, motivate them? Any, any way to put pressure on them to motivate them, anything like that? Any, any ideas in the time we have? What, I guess, here's a better question. You know the military goes better than I. What motivates them to do things, if anything? <laughs> Nothing motivates the military guild. Nothing? No. Other than keeping... Public shaming? Would public shaming motivate them? Just make them angry. But... The Communist Council has tried for the last two years. And not much has happened, right? You will not convince the guild. Maybe you can get mm. some sort of concession that they will agree to support established settlements once they've been freed. Mm -hmm. That is the best they you can hope for. But they want help themselves. You won't get them to send battalions. No, no. They're not willing to risk the lives of their men. That is just going to hurt them in the long run. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. Appreciate the transparency. Well, be a bit Should more blunt for now. How capable are you? Can you can you take on an ogre by yourself? You Probably you're... I can take on one ogre by myself, yes. Mm. Ogres aren't smart. No, I'm more worried about the half ogres. Yes. That's what I heard as well, that we should be worried about them. Um, <clears throat> I am honestly... I don't... I'm... I am not worried about the ogres themselves as well. I'm worried about them overwhelming me. I could, in, I could probably take on all of those ogres if it, individually. Then together is the, the troublesome part. I, I, what I need is space, I guess. I'm being blunt. I 
don't want meat shields from the men. I at least in the melee. I'm not. I just need. That's why I was thinking if I could just get a few capable people that could hold their own, we could be fine. At least to make them run away. Hmm. 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 This that is an issue. I was thinking maybe if we get enough enough men that we have at least numbers, then some people will follow along. It's I agree. Bloody, it's just that. But exactly. I'd rather avoid that as possible. I don't want. No reason to resettle a go but to resettle a home a home line just for no one to be there, no one to be there left to resettle it. Hmm. Hmm. Have you ever been in a in a war? Depends on how you define war, but probably not. Or just been in skirmishes and battles. It's all you know, sorts of things, but I've been working with these people for a month. I see that they they know that death is waiting for them. As much as I understand your approach. I also understand their desire to fight for their homeland. And I'm not certain if we... As much as I, I would like to, but I'm not certain if we should take um, the fight away from them. I think you're right. I don't think it's my call to decide what they should do. They're willing to do it, then I guess I should just allow. I should help. I should allow them or help them. Maybe that is all we all we can do. Right. He'll like train them and support them and try to keep as many of them alive as possible. Like slap his face, just like you know, clear. Be like, okay. He'll hand her a potion, a potion of heroism. Mm -hmm. I, I don't say. I do not know how good of a fighter you are or where you are. This will make you a much better fighter. This should, not permanently, but in the in the, in a fight. Actually, I'm gonna make sure it's actually good to give it to her. Actually, because I don't actually remember exactly how it works. Uh, uh, you don't know it, you know. Yeah, exactly. I don't remember exactly. You know what it is. It, it you works know about it, what it does. Like it, the exact way. Makes yeah, it makes the fighter better. Yeah, it makes you a better yeah. fighter. Yeah. yeah. That's like what you like know. You can keep it. You can keep it to yourself, or give it to who you want. But it'll make you in the at least for one fight a better fighter. Also, I'll and also the potion of fire breath. This you can belch fire that does a that will singe probably most ogres to death instantly, at least in the range. Keep mm -hmm. it for yourself, or give it to who you want. Or like who, if you think there's other capable fighters as well that we can train up in the meantime. And also, I'll just give her the healing eggs as well. You can, these, if you eat, if you, if someone eats them, it'll heal them for you know probably mo I mean, yeah, these average warriors like for their heal back to the full, make them healthy as they were before. Again, distribute them as you see wish, but you are you know you know men better than I do in training them, so keep them for yourself or distribute them as, as you see fit. She nods. I guess let's get to work then. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I guess I'll also talk to Chris and Nell and mm -hmm. see if they're all chill with the plan. As I'll see, like, yeah, I'll go talk to them as well. Yeah. Chris and okay. uh, Alrighty, yeah. You meet I'll, up after, I'll do that, you know, let her go back to training the men and then I'll mm -hmm. be like, yeah, I'll talk to my friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello, clerics. Hello, Oliver. It's Hello, been, uh, been a while Chris since we met you. It's been a while. A lot has happened. Always busy. What's the morale what like? For who? For the, the men. men. From what the... Uh, uh, remembering her name, Tandy told me. Uh, 
they seem stalwart. They seem resolute. They're really, they seem like they really need to walk in death's door. So uh, that's what I assumed. Chris says, mm -hmm. maybe not so long. <sighs> Are you planning on My accompanying them? Oh, of course. There isn't an odd to. I have Ten. promised I would do it, made note to do it, so I'm going to do it. I assume we will come with you as well. If you think that is what, if you think that is, I would, I would, I would ask it of you, but I will not demand it of you. If you think there, you there is other ways to use your time better, then feel free to do that. I don't think there is a way we could use our time better than supporting the chosen of our beloved DET. A bit of a smile. It feels, feels a little weird to like her, but <laughs> like the relationship, but till smiling. Well, I guess I thank you. I would uh, I would very much appreciate your help. And this is a bit of a strange question, maybe, but I guess what can you, you all do? If, I don't, I'm not entirely sure how uh, clerics function entirely, so like what your <laughs> capabilities are. Um, well, you at least know what their spells look like, since you have access yeah, I know to this, yeah, spells, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, I think you gave me the spell list. Yeah, you did give me the spells, and I have first level spells at the moment, so. Or I only have the first three spells, or up to third level spells. Yeah. So I, I, don't know if they're, I don't know if they're seventh level, but I would doubt it. No, they are not. Okay. Um, or they can actually, oh, actually, they have fucking some good spells, and they have uh, nature, I think, right? Or plant. Entangle, I think. Are they not going to entangle? Oh, I'm looking at the second level. Yeah, entangle is They do get entangle. That is actually really good. Yeah. Um, actually really so good. They level. don't have... Uh, they don't have... Um, not combat with the other one. Uh, war. They don't have war. War would be like the one you want here. Okay. Yeah. We have. Yeah. Uh, Entangle is actually still really good though. Mm -hmm. so that's why. Oh no, Entangle they can walk good. through Entangle. It's actually yeah. they're strong enough they can walk through. It's still slowly, yeah. but it's still good. It's still yeah. worthwhile because it's stupid um, as shit. I mean, cure wounds is always good. Yeah, cure wounds, Entangle. Uh, Light on eyes if you want to do that sort of shit. Yeah. They can't do the can't uh, fight also melee. Like things like charm, bless. Um, oh, true. Those eight, are good because you can. Uh, um, yeah, those are really good. Uh, Chris's uh, fifth level, so he battle fade is good. Prayer. Oh, hold. They have hold person. Oh shit. Uh, hold person. So, that's actually. Oh, we're good. Um, we're, we're fine. We're golden. Uh, oh, strength of one. <laughs> Okay. That was I read that one and I was like, it's it, I don't know if it works on magic, but it could be it could be good in the fight. It could be good. Uh, I don't know if it works uh, on it counts as magical. It help you. It does not help me, but it could help. Uh, yeah. No, because I think how it works is you target one person's strength and everyone in the AOE gets like that person's strength for like two d six rounds. Uh, I think it works the other way around. I might have. Oh, you might be. I don't. I remember I read oh, it. Is it like strength, it's really good. As a strength of one, or as it strength of one. Uh, like one I cast a spell, thing. a group of lawful creatures. The priest imbues each creature with a strength bonus equal to that of the strongest creature in the group. Okay. Yeah. No. Then that, that's the yes. one. That's the other one. But it's like champion. Yeah. Something. Something champion. Yeah. It's like the opposite. Like you train every everyone's strength yeah, in like one yeah. person. Yeah. That's okay. Amazing Easy. spell. Um, yeah. Strength. Yeah. Strength of one only lasts two to six rounds, but that could be pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, what else do we have? Uh, battle Fade, Greater Battle Fade, Chaos Ward. I mean, they have a bunch of things. Uh, yeah, protection from evil, 10 foot radius. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, that's some good stuff, actually. Oh, Plant Growth could be good. Wait, <laughs> Plant Growth, that's like the stupid spell. And it's like Spike Growth are really good, right? For like, uh, like th these sort of combats. Yeah, like when you have a lot theory. of people. Because like, you can like, let me say, let me say Spike Growth. Uh... Uh, for each 10 feet of movement through the area, the victim suffers 2d4 points of damage. He must also roll a saving throw versus spell. If the saving throw is failed, the victim's movement is used to one third of its current total. Mm -hmm. The penalty lasts for 24 hours. That's, it is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, AoE 10 foot square per level. But we have, uh, actually, this is like, this is like yeah. pretty good for mass combat, actually. Yeah, so speaking with them, you gather that. Uh, let me just quickly check that I'm not giving it the wrong way around. Um, Oh no, Chris is 4th level and Nell is 3rd level, so no no. Oh damn, levels. never mind. Okay, no 3rd level. Okay, hold person is still really good. Hmm. On like, I think ogres count as people, I think, for the purpose of this uh, video. Yeah, they are humanoids, yeah. 
Yeah. I just didn't know if they were like big enough to not count. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I think they do count because I feel like we've used that on them in the past. Oh wait. wait. Oh no! It specifically says ogres do not on ogre could not. Hmm. That sucks. Unfortunate. Yeah, thus, a tenth level fighter could be held while an ogre could not. Oh well, good to know now. Then maybe a half ogre could be held. Yeah, probably. I think a half ogre because they're not. Well, they're smaller. I think it's literally just the size. I think it's because their size is large. They're like not counted. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's still not bad to have. Uh, okay. I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah. Aid is probably good. Mm -hmm. Old person is still good. Cure moderate wounds is still good. I think those are like the big ones. Oh wait, they had an ogre magi at the other camp. That's that's a different thing I'll have to worry about for that one. We don't have to mm -hmm. worry about that when we get there. Because we have silence, that one could be good. There is actually like a flying magi ogre. Well, magic ogre. However, yeah. right, that's ogre like ogre mages work. Do they actually cast just... spell or do they have innate spell abilities? So just silence. That is silence. true. Yeah, we don't we don't know. Yeah, Questions think... that you don't have answers for. Yeah, I think uh, I think I'm just gonna train up the boys then in the me the people the men in the meantime mm -hmm. help with it. I don't have a tr proficiency for that, but I'll do my best. Yeah. Still a good fighter. So, um, see if I can get more people. Yeah. Um, the thing is, um, like you, in theory, you have like months left in time. Yeah. yeah. Um, with you being back here, um, there might be a. Um, the people oh, might be pressuring happen. you to go along. I'll go early. Go earlier. Um, since um, you, um, so, um, I don't know if you if you have six months of time. So the oh, question I see. Is, so it might be less. Like they might get like an angsty and want to go earlier. Yeah. How do you so, want to spend the time? Like, what's your plan? You have like okay a, a few hands, a few options. How you want to go along? Do you want to? Go and gather more random people, get like newbie fighters along the way. Um, they want to do things. Do you want to try and hit up like single um, high impact people? Try to find some. There must be some, you know, like you, the vampire yeah. had a group of high impact people with him, so they must exist in some way, shape, or form. Um, mm -hmm. I think he's gonna. Oh, so. Do, is it all right if we break it up into like months at a, I guess how much, I guess I don't actually don't know how much time I have to so provide, that's correct. So I will think I will first start trying to it, go for high impact people, mm -hmm. like higher impact people, like higher than first level fighters, pretty much. Mm -hmm. That'll be the first goal mm -hmm. for that. You know, the, the mindset being that, you know, if you have like a bunch of people, but they all break in around, it doesn't matter. And the, the higher level people are going to be more likely to stand, mm -hmm. stand around, um, not run. Do you want to go and uh, poach military people, or do you try to try your luck and try to find the random people? Ah, uh, that's a good question. I think at, mm, I think random. I think I think random people. To, I don't know. I think military people to start with. He'll like get like a Tani's recommendation if she knows anyone that might be like these people might be susceptible or blah blah. blah. And then after that, he'd go for he'd like go for the people she might think might be able to be convinced, and then go for a, a random people after that. Mm -hmm. Do you have any contacts? Any people who owe you something? Uh, I don't think so. Aside from like Kalir, and who still kind of has a life debt to us, I don't think we have that. Are you trying I to? I guess like a near and that sort of stuff, but collect Kaliran. Uh, I mean, I'll I'll see if he's around, but I'm not gonna like. Like, I imagine he's gonna do it. I'll like I'll like I'll do the thing that I normally do, which is like I don't know I'm going to like. I imagine I'm trapping around. I'll like go to see if I can find near or clear any of the taverns. Like, I, like if I can hear him around, but I'm not gonna like. I don't think I'm specifically searching for them. It's more like a byproduct. Like if I'll ask if they're around, but I'm not, and like see if I see them, but it's not like my goal. Mm -hmm. It'll be like side side quest or side goal sort of thing. Uh, if you find them, do you say I'm? Um, if they say we, we help you, do you drag them along, or do you tell them be there at this time? Uh, I will say. Would they? Would they I'll, I'll see if they're like interested at all. Like I'll say, like, are they? Would they even want to be like? Are they interested in helping? And then if and then if they will, then I'll be like, okay, 
how much time do you have available? <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then, be, like, how, like, how free are you at the moment? And then we're like, because, like, uh, depending on, like, what in the pro time in the process it is, because it's early in the process, it'll probably be more like, uh, like, stay in this area. Or, like, uh, if it's early in the process, it'll probably be, they might not actually be able to come along. They'll be like, I'll be, like, scheduling them for later and the people might get antsy. But if it's later in the process, I'll be like, I would appreciate the help earlier. Like, whatever, like, come in, like, the next few weeks or something. And then we can go from there. Mm -hmm. whatever, depending on, like, what, yeah. That's, like, the goal. And then, okay. like, how antsy the people are getting. Uh, are you looking for any other um divine uh, people i don't know if anyone want help i'm trying to think anyone else want to help i don't um, i don't really know anybody else really off those like, divine people too much the adjudicator people? dude maybe yeah well the oh, sorry, what? the cannelier yeah, people the... in theory like you kind of also re uh, enacting revenge right so that is true i could i'll see if i can find them but i don't i'll see if i can find them as well that's true yeah. mm -hmm. I'll, yeah, I'll ask around for yeah, the cannelier people the Thunathar people, and then if the Chakanoi guy, well, if I meet him, which is probably mm -hmm. super likely, I'm not going to find I, I, It's more like, like the, so it's mostly Thunathar and Conalir, and then Chakanoi is just kind of like, if I find him while well, I'm looking for someone else, but I'm not specifically looking for him. It's more like I'm probably not going to find him because he's kind of mysterious and cool and just shows up when he needs to. <laughs> he's probably somewhere in a random tavern praying the whole day until yeah. he gets and then, uh, um, yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I've only met the Sun of Sar, Sun Sarah people, I don't know anything about them, so mm -hmm. I don't, I, I, I've only met her like once or twice. Also, are they, even, bring her to... are they even useful, are they like... You can cast spells, so they're probably yeah. somewhere useful, but yeah. yeah. It's more like, I, I could, I can make an argument for why they should help, but it's also like, I don't okay. think that, I don't know if they're capable enough, or I, I, I wouldn't be able to find them is a big thing, probably. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, those like, so those are the other people I'm looking for as well. Yeah. I guess like, yeah, the, the, in that order. Um, so let's like quickly check if we have like some tokens that we could put here. Um, da -dum 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 -dum. Cleric, 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 dairy, all bad tokens. Hmm, don't like them. Ah, there are no good cleric tokens. The damn. Okay, let's use them. So here we have. That is uh no we got some see Chris. Uh, also do they have armor, I'm assuming? Do I have to buy them armor? Uh um Nell and Chris both would have uh leather armor. Uh okay. all people have leather armor except for the um uh Tammy has chain. Okay. I have enough time and money, I can just buy them all chain armor. Mm -hmm. In theory. How probably. expensive would that be? So I don't think it's it's gonna put yeah, much. How much money do you have left? Uh, fourteen thousand gold. I think. How Let's much sure gold did you have at the beginning? Uh, I had six thousand before we got the 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 new hall, which I got eleven thousand from after that. Of my share, and then we still have a bunch oh, of yeah. gems and stuff we haven't sold as well. Oh, we got I'm, we got because I, I haven't I haven't we we got the vampire hall plus the. Kazirian yeah. Order Hall, like, I'm, pretty I'm, soon to close afterwards. I just somehow decided to, in my mind, subtract 1500 platinum from your oh, money for, oh, okay, paying for the monastery, but yeah, I, I just, see. yeah, yeah. everything's fine. Yeah, I got money. I, I'm gonna see how much that costs because I don't, I'm, I almost, I can 100% afford it, it's just the how much they cost. Okay. So, um, let's okay, see, that nice. is Chris. Doesn't look like Chris, but it's Chris. Alright, so it's eight, so we have 80 gold up. for 80 gold for full chain. Mm -hmm. so there's what 10 plus 2, so 12, being 960 gold. Assuming, is there, I don't know if we're going to be able to train anyone else in the meantime as well. Uh, I mean, that's like for the people you have here, right? Um, yeah, 960 gold for the people here that chain, which would be ne the 10 fighters, the 10 level 1 dudes, and then Chris and Nell. Mm -hmm. And, uh,. Yeah, and then if we get any other people, I'd get them trained as well, if they try and get trained up as well, mm -hmm. appropriate status. So, let's see. Your first month, let's go month by month. Yeah, one by month, yeah. I would have subtracted uh, gold for buying the chain at the moment. Yeah, and I would also like you to run me a um, D100. Uh, D100. Do I want high or low? Uh, you want high. Oh, an 8. An 8. D. Why I need to know because I need to get the bad roll out first. Oh, so there's still 
at least seven lower numbers than eight, right? So. Yeah, there's that's true. Yeah. You know, there, it could be worse. So. Yeah. Already. Uh, okay. Um. Then. Your first month is spent with looking for what? Uh, I think I said that I was going to be looking for the military guild people that might be sympathetic. Mm -hmm. um, where do you try first? Like, uh, I, I think so. Like he's tried make a run around yeah, the, the kingdom. Yeah, he'll go to like Tarrega. He's already been to Barrios, kind of like it seems like mm -hmm. probably not gonna happen there. So he'll go to Tarrega, like because it's nearby, and then he'll go mm -hmm. to and he'll go to like Port Bream, then Low Bay, and then Camp Vidovich if he has enough time, and well, mm -hmm. depending on how long it takes, all sort of stuff. Um, uh, on your like the rounds like, from like the contacts. Um, um, how do you approach um, getting into contact with military good people? Uh, I will see if does uh this. Tani have like any like letters of recommendation she could get signed and stuff like that. And be like, hey, um, just, like, just to get get like get like get me through the door. And I can she's like to a people. third rank person, so no, not really. Okay, then I will just I will just uh I'll see if I can get in through prestige alone. Like be like mm -hmm. like just being like I'm a I'm a big person. Mm -hmm. okay. Like like be like I wanna I wanna like hey is it alright hey I wanna meet with this person you know blah 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 like, chat about you know fighting stuff. Blah, 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 whatever, whatever I come up with that, okay. like, seems so reasonable for the person. Walk up to the guild office, try to get into contact with someone official. Yeah, yeah. Somebody as high up as possible. And if that it's doesn't like, work, yeah, yeah. if the various uh, incident happens again? Uh, I guess, like, he'll probably just, like, if that doesn't work, he'll try to... I don't know. I'm trying to think. Would he do like the low, the bottom up thing again? Not, I guess, if it's like, if it's like the same, it doesn't take too much time. It'll probably spend like a few days in each city, just kind of like mm -hmm. doing that. Like try to like you know see if the, the the talking to the official thing doesn't work. He'll try to like do the sneak his way into like you know talking through like the the bottom ups, the bottom rung soldiers, and like maybe mm -hmm. see if he can get in contact with them there. All right. Like through, like unofficial routes. Okay. Um. Go from there. So let's quickly check. We have like oh, I have some things. Um. Oh, they are... where are they? Not here. Oh, they're somewhere else, yeah. Okay. So, you head to Tarrega. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, wait. Yeah? No, I'm... Uh -oh. oh, it's Minus and Mason's not... Smiths and Masons. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Terega. You had oh, to Terega. Mm -hmm. And um, try to um, get away in with uh, the higher ups. Give me a charisma check. To yes. See. Oh, 31. 31. Perfect. 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 Um, you get an invitation to speak with the head of the Military guild in Tarrega. Um For some reason, you don't really know Another why. Another woman. But Another woman. Um, woman. Uh, the head of Honor. the military guild in Tarrega is. Uh no. Uh yeah. I just say. It is a woman. Um, although. Oh no wait. That is the council. Sorry. No, that's wrong. Okay. Um. Military girl to Riga. Oh, it's also a woman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, you talk with uh, Reyna. Reyna? Reyna, yeah. There's okay. many people called Reyna, and somehow all of them are spelled different. Okay, I'm doing R E I N A. R E I N A, that's correct. Oh, nice, you got it. Mm -hmm. Right, I will. Graciously accept to be Reina and whatever she invites me to. I think the. Uh, I assume it's that because it's. I imagine it's like short for Reinhardt, like the feminine version of Reinhardt, which is I think you no know, similar, like spelt similar. I don't know. Oh, oh no, so it's spelled the same way as the um, shop owner in various. Okay. Oh okay. Oh, that's right. Well, uh, where do I is, is do I meet her at, at a public place? Um, or a no, place? you meet her in the like uh, in the military guild office. Um, oh, okay, okay, perfect. Um, you can talk with her. You can uh, let her know your yeah. issue. Uh, and she yeah, let her know my intentions and fancy it up. A yeah. bit of the spiel of like blah 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 blah. But you can always 
look for people and she will give you a few names. Um, Alrighty. And the names she will give you are Alex. Um, Alex. Yeah, Alex is the um, uh, the officer in charge of the um, um, basically like uh, Alex is running the barracks. Okay. Um, so she's like a fifth rank person. Um, oh, okay. That is not referring to levels, but just like like yeah, yeah, just like there. in the in the military yeah. guild, yeah. So she's right. probably like one rank higher than um, Sarah was. Like Sarah is okay. like a division leader, and then above her is like the person who is like in charge of all the divisions. Yeah. I see. Okay. Um, okay. Um, Alex. Alex is a woman. Somehow. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, and the second one is um, uh, Ricky. 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 These, yeah. oh, these people are all in Torrega, right? Yeah, there's uh, people in Torrega. Okay. Uh, Ricky right. is um, uh, a bit of a new guy, um, like a young uh, up and coming fighter who is like has expressed sympathy with the cause. Um, he's like a basically a nobody. He's like first rank, um, mm -hmm. but he is um, doing doing well, and he is like in the uh, organization, like one of the people who is um, um, looked upon to be like promoted very soon to be like a um, spearhead or something like that. Okay. Kind of like the new, like the new next generation guy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Went into the ogres to die first. Yep. All right. All right. Third and um, final. Um, the third one is, give me at least a different number than five. Okay. Four, fine. <laughs> um, that is uh, Janice. Janice. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Janice is a uh, also a platoon leader. Yeah, it's the same rank as Tanny. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, she's a older woman. Um, she's probably no longer the best in a fight, um, but she she has experience. Um, oh, that's good. Uh, you know, it's probably not because of the uprising that was too long ago. Hmm, when was that? Oh, crap, I don't find shit. I don't find it um, for some reason. Something, something. Maybe something yeah, to do with uh, uh, what would be Tarrega things. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's either the last um, larger problem with uh, goblins, where she was like involved with, um, or something with uh, with lizard men. Okay. Whatever, something. Right. One yeah, of she's the got some things. experience fighting monsters yeah. and stuff. She has like some experience, yeah. Um, so right. she is like a good tactician. She can probably like um, help help keep people safe better than like fight. Like she's, as I said, she's older. She's probably no, no longer the strongest fighter, but mm -hmm. um, she can command people and she has experience with fighting forces instead of just like guarding towns hmm. i will with that information i will thank the mm -hmm. leader here reina yep 
Yeah, I'll give her that certain thing, thing for that, and then I'll go and poach these, try and attempt to poach these people. Yeah. Um, let's just like, quickly mechanize this. Uh, yeah, because we're out of the like, city. Yeah. You see that you want to beat, and then you just give me charisma checks. How good you can convince them. All right. Um, I was like, roll. There's gonna roll a few yeah. charisma checks. So uh, the... for Alex, you want to hit a twenty-eight. Thirty-five. Oh, amazing for Ricky! You only need a twenty-four. Uh, twenty-four. On point. Exactly. Uh, you no more than me for Janice. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. All right. I got them all. Perfect. Collect them like Pokemon. Collect them like Pokemon. Send them in my. Put them in my. Uh, yeah. Computer and send them over, which is the yeah. monastery. Uh, do you give them like go to the monastery now? Um, then you would have to uh, like recompense them for like loss of income, or do you give? Them yeah, like, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Paying for them, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say like if. Yeah, I'll, I'll send them over there because like, some of them, even like the shittiest one, is probably gonna still help with training and that sort of stuff. You know, like even, uh -huh. like, even Ricky who's like an up and comer, so yeah, it'll, yeah. it'll, even if it doesn't mechanically do anything, I feel like it makes sense like thematically. You know, uh -huh. more people would help train who's experienced, and in case anyone else like wants to maybe um, get like one or two more fighters in the meantime. So let's just quickly check. Um, so you have uh, one of them. It's probably like that level. That is. Uh, uh, you wonder the income stuff later. That might be because it might take a bit more time. Because I, I fucked yeah, I'm just like, like writing down like what level of. Oh, yes. I also like that you have like an idea how much you have to pay for some of them. Um, for yeah. Alex, you have to pay like quite a lot of money. Like she's getting like big, big income. Yeah, that's uh, just true. Like a, that's still fine. Um, a hundred gold a month. Okay, I'm fine with that. Um, Ricky is like a just a shitter. Um, just a light, light footman. Uh, that's like. 7.5 gold a month, and for uh, Janice, um, uh, Janice will also just take 7.5 gold a month. Like, she goes, like, she's she just wants to do something more interesting than sitting around in town. So, she just I'm... just needs to be able to survive and doesn't really need much more. Okay, I wrote, I wrote that down 115 a month right mm -hmm. now is what I'm paying. So, I'll just do the calculations later, or depending on how long they mm -hmm. actually stay for. Alrighty. And then, um, that takes uh, you like the, uh, the first week that you spend like in Turinga. Yeah. Uh, I guess we might want to like maybe mechanize it a bit more because I don't know if we want to spend that much time on each one, but. Um, yeah, it's it, like, that's like, I just was like, first description, like how this works in Turinga. Oh, I see. So yeah, we I had to the next yeah. city um, to. Port Bay, Brain, really. probably. Port Bream, Port Bream next. sure, and I'll go to Lobe. Alrighty. Um, give me like also a vote for Port Bream. I have to check. Uh, like, D100 or. Uh, uh, charisma checks. No, the D100 comes at a different time. That's a charisma check. Um, okay. you get uh, in 35. The, um, 35 on the first one. Okay. Um, the military guild does not want to interact with you in Port Bream. Okay. I will leave then. And, uh, but I don't know. If they don't you interact, it's probably like. Try wait. to bottom up. I'll do bottom up for like a week or two, and then if that doesn't work, I'll just. If there's no, if there's no like, uh, if there's like no like clear signs of like, yeah. like uh, being fruitful, I'll leave. Uh, I'll do a, a week and see if it's fruitful, and then I'll if it, it looks promising, I'll just yeah. say another week and see how it goes. Give me a bottom up charisma check. Oh, a better Ooh, 36. Nice. This time. 36. Um, Can't wait to get involved with the guild accidentally. Um, just just to make sure, since you brought us up, if that is a problem in your eh. brain. I don't think he barely knows about the guild if at all, like, Oliver. I think he's only heard it mentioned a few times when, like, from uh, various people that didn't really know exactly what it is. No, in Podbream, you don't have that issue. That's fine. Alrighty. Um, Doesn't inadvertently interact with them. No. I mean... Might have a new cousin. Uh, you will most likely inadvertently interact with them. The, the guild 100% yeah, yeah. knows that the, what's going on, but... Yeah, they, they just don't... Just a they question don't show, if they, don't show they their hand. want to do something about it or not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um... Uh, let me just quickly put you to put a bream here. Oh, I'm not on the world map, by the way. Uh, it's on the I know. There. I know that you're okay, on the world map. Sure. Uh, okay. Um, speaking oh, of, yeah, uh, I need to add a handful of people. Um, so we don't need to leave a loose track of what's going on. Uh, NPCs, military guys. Um, that is one and two. And three. Okay. Um, okay, in Port Bream, you roll really nice. So um, you will get okay. into contact with one platoon leader. Okay. Very quickly. Give them the same, sh 
in the same spiel. Yeah. Um, probably I probably have like a great spiel yeah. at this point. It I've, is been a, like, I've been doing it for like a month. It is a DC twenty eight again. Oh, not one. I, I, I no. they, they're just not hearing it. Like I think like they're kind of sympathetic, and now they're just like, fine. I want to risk my life for this bullshit. Yeah, they're probably like in the, in the Sarah Park. Like they have like a very specific question that they need yeah, to have can't answer before it. they and you're like running into a, into a wall. Yeah. Uh, do you want to yeah, run into stay in Port Beam, like uh, longer and try to find somebody else? Or uh, he'll stay one more week, sure, and then after that he'll leave. I mean, this oh. isn't even a week. You can you have a second try. Oh, it's not second. even a week. Oh, yeah, I'll do it then. Uh, I'm it's twenty-seven on the next turn. Let's see if you. Uh, yeah. yeah, you try your luck. Awesome. Um, you find another platoon leader. All right. Oh. Um, Again, with the twenty-eight. Ooh, you need a twenty-seven. So you're recruiting oh, nice. another platoon leader by the name of. Let's give them all names and then have them killed. Ah, That's neat. the best way to do. It's neat. Yeah. That S N E E T. S N E I D. N I E E I D. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So. Uh, Sneet is a. And that's like another hundred gold a month, I'm guessing. Uh. They're all no, that is a later. fifteen gold a month person. Fifteen. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Send them okay. on over then. Uh, what up? Dum -dum. Alrighty, next city is Lobe. Yeah, Lobe. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, 28 for the initial introduction. Uh huh. Um, I keep rolling this before I actually need it, but it's totally. Fine. Oh, sorry, I'm just, I'm just sorry about that. Um, Ooh. uh,. No, that's not, not good enough. Um, right, they, like right. you get like a meeting, but so uh, twenty eight day are not 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 dodging. Um, All right. Also, Lobe is uh, our military guild in Lobe isn't that big since it's like the most re removed from anything place. Yeah, and, it's like the hunters guild, right? Um, you already like uh, you have you have interacted with Tanner as well, right? Yeah, I've met him before. I think okay. I've, at least at some point. I'm pretty so, sure because we've done like. Generally sure. speaking, people in Lobe, if they stay in Lobe, then they stay there because they don't want to fight. I say, all right, so he'll people, get that vibe pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. He'll just kind of like kind of lost and leave. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna Cam Vitovich then. Alrighty, Cam Vitovich. The dwarven capital. The dwarven the dwarves. capital of and gnomes. The world. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, exactly. Bit of it, it's filled with. I have actually talked to the, someone here from Rikarki a long time ago, like yeah. one of the higher up people. I, it was uh, a dwarven lady, and yeah, I remember she... we had talked to like a politician. And he was like fucking evil, or evil uh, intentions. Um. Oh, that's when we got his armor for the first time. Yeah. A while. Uh, who was the evil person? I don't oh, remember it. I, I can try to look it up, but it was, like, it was like a politician or something. Uh, is that what it is? What I think it is? No. Did you speak to the council in Camp Vidovitz? I I remember that we talked to like the someone like a, I think it was like the council person because we were talking. It was like a dwarf that lived like when they out east because we were asking questions about that a long oh, time I ago. I somebody else. I was I remember it was somebody like official because we had to because we had talked to a politician as well. That was like. Because I remember, we were, I guess I remember the conversation like, "Oh, all politicians are evil, or have evil intentions, or something like that." As we had that talk, that that phrase. Um, mm -hmm. I don't remember. That's been so long. I, okay, wait. What is this? I don't know. Uh, Akara is the. Akara, yeah, I just found it. I found it. And then. Dale, student of Frederick. I don't know who that is, but I wrote that person down. Uh, that's someone completely different. Alright, that uh, does not relate it. It was just in the same section. That is the guy right. that lives in... Oh, it's that guy, yeah, the art guy, right? The art guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, right. Not orange car, car what's it called? Uh, West Coast. Um, yeah, I don't know if a car has any... Has any would be able to help at all since I met her a long time ago. Did you... See, I don't um, remember what our We... I was there when we had the conversation. Yeah, yeah, like, just like... Nate and Akara. 
But who of them would have been evil? I mean, they were all pissed. They were trying to mob you, but it's a different reason. Yeah, okay. I don't remember. Um, okay. I can write that. Um, but it was the minus animation skill, not the. Um, oh, that's what I want to do. I can't help then. Yeah, probably. Oh, and this is surely guild. Interesting. That is a invoker to guild head. Um. Ah, uh, Camp Wilowitz. Oh, the. Oh! Yeah! Uh, give me a, a, a higher up check. Charisma? 27. 27. Okay, um, they speak with you. And. Alrighty. Um. Uh, you speak uh, with. Um. With Richard. Um, Richard. Richard, as you quickly notice. Uh. Is a wizard. Oh, a wizard. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, that's interesting. He's like the head. All oh, these ones the, have been fighters, right? Um, uh, no, the the councilwoman, uh, the the um, uh, military guild head person in Terrega that you spoke with uh, was uh, neither uh, like you didn't know, like she didn't look like a fighter, okay, okay. didn't like wear weapons or things, so like normal person. Okay. Um, this All one right. clearly is a wizard. Um, uh, and I was the first guild. Oh, to the other two, you didn't speak, so no. um, yeah, all right. Um, that's the yeah, the first one was not a not not someone. This one is a wizard, interestingly enough. Um, also, no bodyguards in the room if that means something to you, but just saying, um, yeah, it's a probably confident or something, yeah. Also, Raina didn't have bodyguards, my family, either. yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, um, 27, she will give you, he will give you, uh, two people. Um, one is, uh, kind of like similar to Ricky, like an up and comer, um, yeah, okay. but also already promoted. So like second rank and the okay. other one is, um, interesting enough, also the barracks manager, basically. Um, the barracks manager is once again a woman, somehow. It's 50-50, <laughs> but it doesn't feel like 50-50. Uh, um, that's how it happens sometimes. Uh, uh, barracks manager person is called... Um, uh, we already... Remove Janice, then Janice should be removed here. Uh, Marlena. Marlena. Alrighty. And the up and comer, I don't think we have a name um, for them. The up and comer is a guy called Jambo. Janwo? Jambo. Jambo. Mm -hmm. uh, Jambo is a, as I said, already promoted, so he's like a spearhead. He's not like, he's still like, he's looking at new. Yeah, he's like, he leads a, a squad of soldiers. Like, okay. He's not a, okay, I see. like, he's the leader of a group of soldiers. Okay. Um, alrighty. Um, Jumbo first, I guess. Alrighty. Um, Jumbo has a 24 DC. 33. Cleared. And Molina has a 27. 31. Already one, already. Um, and Marlena is interested in finally getting something to do other than sitting in this shitty town and <laughs> hearing endless reports about the fucking Griffin. So um, she is willing to reduce her wage by half, so 50G. And, 50? Okay. Yeah. And, and the other for guy Jambo is 7.5 still, yeah. Already perfect. I think that's pretty mm -hmm. much all the older recruits. And I, don't think I is probably good. request yeah. a D8. A D8. A four. I'm rolling mm -hmm. down the middle for most of all these rolls. Like the, the random rolls. Mm -hmm. so the first, they do 100 really close, so never mind. It's... Yeah. Alrighty, so this is like Kemper Widowitz in the beginning of June. Um, let's add like more people that we need. Um, we need like one we got, officer uh, more, one platoon leader more. We got Snide, and... Jumbo, and Alina. So platoon leader, barracks manager, and random guy. Yeah, yeah. right. Okay. Oh, it's like a handful of people, right? Yeah, it's not bad. Um, we got six more people that aren't bad, that aren't terrible. Alex. 
Well, it's, we have to find out how terrible they are, but... Um, They're at least, they can at least is. take a hit from an ogre, probably, and probably die. Yeah. Uh, also, they, unlike the other, do have equipment, even okay. if the, if the um, normal soldiers don't look like it, but they come in uh, military uh, military guild equipment, so... Um, okay. uh, the barracks managers are like um, plate, chest chain limbs, the platoon leaders are in full chain. And Ricky and Jambo are both in chain shirt level limbs. Okay. So still upgradable, but yeah. Uh, who am I? I will. That is yeah, I just don't. saw his trophy. Janice. No, it was not Janice. I'll just mark off a hundred gold for just getting them chain limbs upgraded. Mm -hmm. I'll just do that um, right now. Them. Melina. And that is Shambo. Shambo's the best one of them. True, that is true. Alrighty. Um so I think and I assume I didn't come across uh Kalir and near any of those guys in the way. Anybody, um, I give any of those guys. Ah, uh, you didn't randomly come across them um Yeah yeah. From what I understood okay. you weren't like taking the time no, to look for them here. Um, yeah, it was more just like if I just or something. Uh, I'm tr uh, I probably would have. Like, I had time, so I'll just be like, I'll just like leave them at like I don't even know where the fuck I would leave. Them at. I guess the temples. I'll leave mm -hmm. the temples. But I'd probably go to the temples. They're really just mm -hmm. be like, right, you know, if you see, I'll give them the description for all the the other the people and be like, so if you're mm -hmm. interested, come here. Mm -hmm. I'll come where. Uh, it's the monastery place that, right. on the map. But okay. I assume like, I'll give. Uh, I, I assume like, I'll give them, like directions or whatever. They can ask around. They're smart. Mm -hmm. uh, who do you leave messages for? Uh, I'll do it for Near Kaliran. Uh, I don't. I'm trying to think. I'll do it for uh, the Conalier people as well. But I don't okay. think the other people I know well enough to ask them about that. So. Okay. And, um, or else you my, know, I don't know what to I. I'm pretty sure I did. I. I am seeing. I remember we talked to them. I don't remember if I got their names. A while ago, I'm scrolling up. Uh, are you leaving a message for Aurelian as well, or do you skip Aurelian? Corellian? Oh, yeah, sure, I'll do Corellian too, because, you know, ah, sure, why not? Might as well. Oh, what's sorry? Aurelian. Oh, Aurelian. I thought it was Corellian. Okay, no, Aurelian. Aurelian. Okay, I thought they all had, I thought most of them had K's, and I thought it was kind of funny. Yep. Uh, okay, let's see. Did I get the. Um... No, I don't think I got their names, so never mind. I, I'm looking through, I did not get their names. Mm -hmm. if, I didn't, if I did, I'd write them down, so. Mm -hmm. okay. So you, like, give them the symbol I, and, like, yeah, I'll give reflect them the somebody, yeah, like, so. randomly, and then think about where they would be standing in the temple there. Um, yeah, yeah. The symbol, please um, ask them. They would be interested in enacting in vengeance mm -hmm. on for the people at East or whatever, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. Yeah. It's a bit of a weird one, but okay. Oh no, it's very weird, but it's like it's like I have nothing else to go off of, so. and I'll do that in all the temples that I visit. Yeah. And I'll just go to Barrios real quick and do that as well. And mm -hmm. I'm not—I'll do that in Barrios, but I'm not gonna like recruit anybody in Barrios because I've already tried that. Yep. And go back to the, go back to the this, the monastery and do shit and train Alrighty. and all sorts of stuff. So let's say you arrive back in the monastery about here. Took you like a month of running around the kingdom to recruit people. Yeah. And as you arrive nope. back in uh, in the monastery, they have arrived here. Um, let's just quickly do like some luck checks. Can you give okay. me a, um, um, so to find out like what level they are. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, like a, a tutoring check or something for the do, person. Do you want to know the levels? <laughs> but I'm not wanting to know them. Uh, I don't, th I don't think I need to. It doesn't really matter there. <laughs> they, if they live, I'll, I'll care, but it's fine. Okay. I don't think it, I don't think it changes a whole lot of other levels. Mm -hmm. Um, so I just quickly break down the level. So then I know what HP to roll for them. 
Okay. Alright. Okay. Um also now that Chris's levels we do know. Um can you give me like a um look um learning progress check for the platoon leader? Um probably I think it's you know, like wisdom or something. Yeah. If I remember the person too correctly. That was like she's looking at maybe taking it. Yeah, I think it's wisdom. So he has like um Twelve wisdom. So uh, it is just wisdom flat. Yeah. yeah. D twenty plus twelve. Twenty eight. Oh, that's not bad. Twenty eight. Okay. Oh, that was sixteen in the die. Ah. Uh, uh, he's been. Uh, she's been working for them for a while. Um. So just can you give me another check? Uh, twenty nine. Uh, okay, and a third one. Uh, thirty one. God, this could be even better. Holy shit. Didn't roll below 16. They're very yeah. adamant about getting their homes back or dying trying. Yeah. Um, perfect. So, first month has been spent with this. The people are still willing to wait. Let's put it like this. Um, when, when you're here, are you trying to, like, I mean, you have um, at least two more platoon leaders here that could help out in training. Um, yeah, I think if people are interested, but I'm not gonna like force people to do it. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not gonna be like, like, I'm not gonna be like wrangling. I'll literally just be like, if you are interested, these people help mm -hmm. teach you. Go to them, yeah. sort of thing. But um, I'm not gonna like, it's I'm, I'm not gonna like force people to do it. Ah, uh, give me another another check. Like, so we're rolling like true with advantage. Okay. Out thirty. Just get better. Um. Maybe maybe the other two see a better trainer. Oh, I think I rolled well enough at all. It matters a whole lot. Oh, I rolled, I rolled, I rolled really well on the checks. It's about, about about that level that we will have. Um, okay, um, but in theory, you could train more people if you want to. Yeah, it's sort of like a. I think like if the others, so we have more platoon leaders. So like, it all just like, because how many people do we have in like the? Sorry, these I assume this is like the ten people are just the people that are interested in fighting. So I don't know if there's other people that are interested um, in fighting. Like you requested, uh, you requisition specific like some people to be guards here. Um, but yeah, so I guess like. Here. Um, like, as this is like the meeting point for the militia, basically. Um, mm -hmm. So there is like a um, at something like around thirty more people that could be trained. Um, yeah, I'll I'll do like a speech to them and kind of be like, if you are interested and want to, in in reclaiming your homes and fighting, talk to mm -hmm. these people and I'll like show the platoon leaders. They will assess you and see and train you if they mm -hmm. deem you if they think you're fine. Blah blah blah. Okay. Give assuming me, they're fine. Sorry, they're fine with training. Um, 29 D100s higher uh, than... Separately or, or just I roll I think you all should be able time. to roll like... And then higher than 60. 60. Uh, 15. That's really good actually. 15 really successes. Sure. Alright. Uh, there's 15 that's people really who can be trained. Alright. That's really... A Unlikely, but okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it happened. It's half them. All right. I mean, I uh, can, can be trained. They will be training all of them, but these, like, 15 of them um, yeah, yeah, see, have yeah, a yeah. chance of becoming, like, first level fighters. Okay. I see. The other ones are just kind of, like, have no shot. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got you. Okay. Uh, do, I assume they have no equipment? Um, They have yeah, gonna... no equipment. No, you didn't, like. Yeah, so I will have to do that. I will do uh -huh. that as well. I'm just going to do the math really quick. Uh -huh. So, how much is this? Cause there's 15 more people. Uh, and will they toss in spears? Am I gonna have to pay for spears and stuff as well? I like gotta do the math on it. Um, I'm spending 1200 gold on chain mail. Oh, dang. Or they toss, I mean, spears are three gold a piece, so I don't know if they'll toss that in for free. They have no, they definitely don't toss them in for free. That's like a shitload of okay. money, right? Um, okay, that's fine. I was just gonna ask if they're like a bulk deal. Okay, so t let me just well, do some I think math. You can quick. buy spears in bulk, so that is like yeah. Can I'm just gonna buy chainmail in bulk. Oh uh, no, no, no. Okay, so twelve hundred on chainmail, and then uh, yeah. fifteen times three is forty-five, and then shields are ten times fifteen, one hundred and fifty. Okay, I got the money. I'm just doing the math on it. 
So they're going to be in shield and chainmail and a short spear. Mm -hmm. I assume that's the easiest thing to wield. wield. Yeah, uh, they would all, all be right, trained so... in spears, yeah. Okay, then I'm just going to... Okay, I definitely have the money then. Okay, it's only 1,400 mm -hmm. gold. Only 1,400 gold. Say. Uh... Already, uh, okay. okay. And um, I think do you a, uh, spend like some time at the monastery. Yeah, I think probably uh, aside from just like maybe going like once a week to like the, because I can move pretty quickly. So mm -hmm. I probably I probably stay like two to three weeks at the monastery after like send out the letters, and then I might just go and check around to see if they like like go to Barrios, Torrega, and then maybe like I don't know like probably like Barrios and Torrega and see if I just like if they mm -hmm. I mean, come across them like every couple weeks, but. Okay. Not like extensively searching, just like just checking in real quick. Okay. Did I hear anything? Um, the next week, uh, Kalirin comes to the monastery. Okay. I'm a little, a little, little, not entirely surprised. I'm like, oh shit, he's actually coming. Mm -hmm. I'll, like, I'll go and introduce myself to him. Like, oh, how, how's, how things have been? Glad you, you, glad you can make it. Well, I owe you, so I guess when you ask for help, I show up. What is it you need? <laughs> Uh, we're... I can, like, gesture towards, like, all the people trying and stuff. We're, we're retaking the villages out east. The ogres and whatever else is out there. Not so long. And it says, um... <clears throat> when are you leaving? Uh, the latest is November. People will get a little antsy, so it might be a little earlier, but depending on how... Depending on how... November at the latest. And we'll see how... Maybe a little earlier people feel like they need to go or if we can't keep them contained i i guess i will help you um unless you know he like shrugs and like points into the nothingness next to him unless something comes up i'm not alone understandable i'll yeah i'll like i'll like fill him in on like the there's like ogres and it's supposedly an ogre magi out there no idea what mm -hmm. that is and you know half ogres and the trixie blah blah i'll fill in all like the intricate details over the time um he will let you know that to his knowledge there's at least no undead but that's good at least that's something <laughs> yeah it's helping out of the kindness of his heart not because he has to <laughs> yeah good um so kalirun is here as well Gathering up the warband. Gathering up the warband. Uh, do you uh, do you want Kalirin to stay here? Uh, that's up to him. Yeah, it's up. I don't think he can help train, and I think his presence is a little unnerving. So that's up to him. He wants to stay. He's he's fully allowed to stay here. I'm not gonna push. I'm not gonna say one way or another. Okay. Yeah. But just like I'll, uh, I'll, I guess the only thing I would request is like stay nearby in case we have to leave in a on, like in a nearby town in case you leave on a short notice so I can collect them. Yeah. But he he the will thing. stay here. Um, yeah. a bit weird. He never takes his armor off or at least never <laughs> do you never see him without his armor but he will like um take partake in sparring and um whip around the higher level ups a bit um, nice nice get them some training as well yeah take um, two-handed sword yeah ready it's weird Oh, it's very weird. Yeah, it's very good. weird two-handed sword. Very it's, weird. I do. I, it's like the, I do enjoy the the dynamic. Or the not the dynamic. The hmm. like the 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 weird dichotomy between like Oliver and Kalir. And it's like one is just like in like a like a golden chest plate, and the other yeah. is like just wearing full black. Yeah. Um. Surprisingly enough, if you stay for another week. Oh yeah, but probably if like it's it depends on like uh it's yeah oh sure he'll stay he'll stay for like a month at a time probably and then go look around mm -hmm. like I said for like a few days and then come back so he's predominantly at the monastery if it matters yeah uh, the next week uh, Nia shows up alrighty nice nice somehow oh, don't worry about it they're they're weird that's like a yeah a 5% chance for both of them but <laughs> <laughs> look okay I rolled that one unlucky dude. I've been really, really I've been really lucky with this, with this random shit so far yeah uh, Everyone I talked, every military person I talked to, I recruited except for like the one person. Mm -hmm. it's, it's fine, you know. I'll, I'll give yeah, near yeah. the same spiel, like you know, like yeah. ogres, ogre magi, half ogres, you know. Nothing the cheese can't handle. Mm -hmm. uh, Nia notices that Kaliran is here already, so she just like, <laughs> okay, whatever. That's not like I have anything else to do. Um, <laughs> Literally just uh, here to the board. They will just. Um, 
uh, with near being here and the location you are at, um, they will, um, depending on the roll, the next roll you make, which is a d4. A four. A four, amazing. Um, and then also, please two d twenty plus twelves. I uh, just one. Okay. Uh, with I just one. Uh, twenty eight. Oh. Uh, oh, twenty-eight. Okay. Um, they will uh, take a trip to uh, Mount Carrick. Okay. I know where that is. So I can pick it up. I think it's pretty mm -hmm. close. Yeah. Actually, I yeah, know it is very close. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the two spooky people will like walk away, and but <laughs> promise to come back. Mm -hmm. Um, let's also check for the hours. Nope. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, uh, we are into July. You I don't I, do I feel like I can still. keep these. Do I feel like I can keep these these people together. Are they gonna for like a, to train more? Are they gonna be like? Um, like they are. Now? They are hard at hard at training. They are working. Um, so at least for now, it seems like they won't be go running off um one question yeah. um do you like yeah. um uh, as you might have seen uh, you have like four archers and six spearmen and now you have 15 new recruits do you want them all to be spearmen or do you want some more archers uh, as well? i'll keep the top half to be archers and the bottom the bottom six can be uh spearmen still okay so then goodbye to these ones here and then we need uh, 6, 10, 14, oh, yeah, yeah. 15. Um, mm -hmm. Alright, perfect, perfect. Alrighty. Uh, then I think, aside from that, he's just gonna chill here since he's got everyone that he knows he can actually recruit. I don't think he has anyone else he really can have, have okay. he has contacts with, so Alrighty. he's chill here then for the rest of the time. So let's I'll put him out terrain in and stuff like that, you know, with spears since that's what he does. Check. Yeah, either until like the November or like a little before it comes or until they get rowdy enough they wanna wanna go earlier. Um Yeah, so let's quickly jump along into the future. Give me another um some rolls, the same rolls, a D four. Um D four two D twenty plus twelve. A three. And then a twenty six on the advantage I'm assuming. Twenty six. Um uh, tum all right. Uh, it is like slowly but surely approaching um, November. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, oh, yeah. What is your plan to like? Um, you can like ask your your guys to give you like an uh, an idea how far uh, how far along they are in training with the people mm -hmm. if they will all like make it to and and shit. Um, what what is your plan for people who don't make it to first level fighters? Do you leave uh, them behind? Do you take them along? I will, I will leave that up to them. If they want, they can come if they want to. But I like if I, I will leave retaking their homes up to them if they want mm -hmm. to come or not. I'm not gonna force them either way. But I, I will say that the the, the like the sar the drill masters or whatever don't recommend they come. But or if, I don't know if they actually say that, but mm -hmm. like they haven't been keeping up. But up to them. Mm -hmm. I will not force them either one way or the other. Okay. All right, give me another set of these rolls. Okay, uh, D4. Uh, D3, please. Oh, D3, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, a 1, and then a 30 for the advantage. Yeah. Okay. The people have gotten really antsy, and they want to leave. All right, I will let them know. I will, like, let them start, you know, <laughs> gathering supplies and stuff. You know, I'm just going to... I don't know how much money is going to... Like, food's going to cost, but I'm just going to shell it. Like a couple hundred i'll yeah. show like 200 gold under money or like food yeah okay, let's go with whatever on this issue uh but right. now the important roles uh, uh i'll go pick up clear and near as well once they get oh, they, it seems like once like once the tide is turning they're starting to get antsy mm -hmm. they should be here anyways i just took okay. a trip to mount carrick and came back afterwards oh, okay. all right board rolls no um i need uh
Uh, that is 10. So. <laughs> just with the luck is a great up, let's see. <laughs> That's 20 D100. DL. Okay, what am I looking for? 10. Oh, DL. DL10. DL10. Higher than 52. Oh, I okay, let me redo that then. Oh, higher than fifty-two. Okay, That's I did that. So one. one, two, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, this guy nine. doesn't make it. Okay, and then I need um, fifteen D one hundred, thirty D one hundred D L fifteen higher than thirty D one hundred D L fifteen higher than thirty-two. Fifteen. How? Get, uh, I'm lucky. Amazing. Amazing. Right. You see, that's the, you see, that's what happens when you, you have faith, okay? Yeah, already. Um, so we need to re-roll some hit points. Um, oh, they all get second me, level or something? Uh, no, they they rolled the eights for their hit dice so far. Now they're rolling okay. the tens. Um, oh, can you give me... Um, I will go just down the line. Um, that is 24 d10. And I will... Increase their hit points if they have higher hit points afterwards. That is okay. Those aren't no. super great, but next to some are fine. I don't that know. Can't really no. That is a uh, yes. Uh, okay. That's also an increase. That is an increase. Um, that is not an increase. That is an increase. These hit point hit point rolls will be very impactful. <laughs> yeah, so look, some of them one, might be able to live one hit. That some of those tens. Two, five, four, three, one, eight, seven, ten, five. That's an increase. And that is a four already. So then we need. Hit points for Lel and Chris. I do, find, I do find it interesting how Oliver is probably deity is way more hardened than he is. Cause like I feel like she's like, oh yeah, just go fucking die and retake your home. That's like cool as shit. Uh -huh. And he's just, yeah, uh, he's just like not as cool. With it. Chris. I don't know. And that is Lel and Chris. Okay, and then we need our cool guys. Uh, need more D tens. Oh, my D tens. Uh, do you have uh, time pressure today? Uh, not today. I just I would like if we are doing that, I'd like a break, a short break. Yeah. Uh, you can take a break now. I need to like prep like the rest of these things. Get like. Oh yeah, okay. I'll be back then. Shit, but you can take a break. It's no problem. Alrighty, be right back then. Yep. Yeah. I don't have that many D10s ready, because I really need them. Um, okay, get to reward. Good rolls, Ricky. Good rolls. Oh, stays. Good rolls. 
was all along. Nope, Champo does not get any points. Sixteen, twenty, twenty-nine, thirty-four, forty. And Nia's hit points are most definitely wrong again. They are always wrong. <laughs> oh god, I hate Nia's hit points. Schroding, sh uh, Schrodinger's in the air. Just her hit points are yeah. ever changing. She never hits on attacks, and her hit points are always off. Okay, everybody has the hit points that they need, so um, I think everybody who didn't make the level is getting left behind except for the one guy. Okay. We'll come along. Um, the others are cheering on. They maybe they're coming along to help you out in the background, but they are not taking part in it. Yeah, the they're doing like supplies, the carrying mm -hmm. supplies, and that's where it should and cooking all right. and all that sort of stuff. So let's quickly group them up in like some way that makes sense. Uh, so I assume that uh, Janice will go with this group of archers. Then we have this one here, Jambo here, Ricky goes with them and then the rest of you are solo people mm -hmm. so they should all be green they will be oh is it all right if i change out one of my spells since we've had some time you have like infinite basically time. i just want to take a, i just want to take two cure light wounds yeah so yeah i just want to I just want to have two cure light wounds because the protection from evil is not going to do anything in this fight, really, for me. Um, yeah, if not for you, yeah. It's literally like it's. It could maybe make. It's not going to make. It could maybe make a difference if it actually no, because it only lasts like two rounds per level, so it's not going to make a difference. Um, in this like the biggest problem for you is that once you attack, it breaks. Yeah, but if I put it on someone else, it's not going to last long enough for it to matter because we're not because like if it, it has to be on an archer and then the archers probably shouldn't be in melee anyway, and it's only going to be like uh. a minus two to hit or something, so. The cure light wounds can keep someone alive, but protection from evil probably won't. Or heal someone who needs it. I think it's probably better. Alrighty. We're good. Our war band okay, so gathers up, sets out. That is your your fighting group here. You know what? Not terrible. Not terrible, yeah. It's a bunch of people. Like you have no idea how big the groups of enemies you will be meeting are, but Yeah. You know. That's for, their, um, that's for future us to worry about. Yes. Okay, so... Uh, this is like what I'm setting up for, for combat, right? So we have these yeah. four groups. Um, this one should have a name. The name is... Uh, what's what's her name? Who's her? Uh, Tanny. I wrote, I wrote down other names. Uh, Tanny is the first one, yeah. Platoon yeah, leader. Tammy and then we have the name. Janice is the other platoon. We have Janice and uh, Snyder platoon and leaders as well. Tammy is definitely not a zero of level fighter. So we need to quickly check for Tammy's level. Okay. Hmm. Good rolls, Tammy. Good rolls. You have like some people with very good rolls. Um, nice, nice. I also I gave her said... the. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, she has the potion of fire breath and the axe that she will. And the heroism potion. And the potion of heroism. Alrighty. Which Just regular heroism. I have no idea who it would be best on, so it's probably good. Oh, no, yeah, I gave it to her so she could yeah. determine since they've been working with him, yeah. Yeah. Um, like. She also probably doesn't know like who the is better on. Alright, um, so just give us like, one of the platoon leaders, probably. That'd probably be best. Mm hmm. 
Um, and the fire yeah, breath, like literally just someone who can take a hit. Yeah. Um, someone in the front line who can take a hit for the fire breath. Yes. Um, should this be like one of the other people or? Uh, I think it should be one of like the people, like, like someone who's like not a first level fighter that can probably take a hit and it's going to be in the melee. So maybe like one of these guys over here. Uh-huh. One of the big ones. Yeah, big ones, yeah, because it does, mm-hmm. yeah, it's just, it, it's, I think, yeah, I think I have like a rough idea of how it works. You drink it and you belch fire, that's about mm-hmm. it. Yeah. So it, um, be in melee with it and don't hit your allies, that's about the big thing. Don't have weapon things here. Okay, so for your knowledge, uh, just so you do know this, um, the uh, uh, Jembo and um, Ricky, they yeah. are spear fighters. They fight with spear and shield, as the rest of your groups. Um, and the other, the, the higher ranking um, military people, they are sword and shield fighters. And Melina mm-hmm. and Alex also probably have a plus one sword. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, Alrighty. So that's like the equipment level you have on them. Uh, you did get all full chain. Yeah, for every, I got chain and shield for all the uh, chain and shield for all the melee people mm-hmm. and spears. Okay, so they should all have um, seventeen, 17 AC. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like fifty fifty if an over hits them or something. Better mm-hmm. than like the seventy percent they normally have. Alrighty, just quickly give them. Uh, uh Jambo, yeah, Jambo is also seventeen. Um, yeah, I think I gave the two guys AO. chain as well. Oh, so Made some, sense. Like, okay. So we about know all the um, so Alex and Melina are plate chain shield. So that's twenty. Is that twenty? Uh, plate ch- chest is uh three. No, oh, it's chain chest. Plate chest is five. Chain limbs is two. So that's seven. seven which would be nineteen. 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 Okay. Nineteen. Also, any other shit? Nope. They're not that cool. Or they have like high decks or something. I don't know. Uh, nobody has any bonus stats. Um, yeah, yeah, that's so they are longsword, 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 spear, spear, longsword. And then we have weird weapon, weird weapon, mace, mace. They are doing like basic cleric stuff. Your friends, Chris and Nell. Nice, nice. Um, they, you got them chain as well. Yeah, I got them chain, and, and I, if I need a shield, I don't think I bought them a shield, but I'll buy them a shield right now. I just right. or, or, like I'll, I'll subtract the money right now because mm-hmm. like, the seem I would have bought it before. Yep. So it's twenty extra gold off. Okay. So for now they all should be at seventeen AC as well. Um uh Kaliran has. And I think yeah, I'll wait. three. Uh so the only issue is n- near because Nia's AC is just not good. Whatever. Yeah, I I think for uh I guess I'll let me you're good. I was gonna do the spells for them real quick. Any... No, she has she... No. Nope. No. You're gonna, you're gonna pop out her anti ogre spell. Slay <laughs> ogres you don't instantly. Have, no, that's no uh, slay ogre spell. Damn. That's that <laughs> needs to be a spell. Alright, uh, I think for like Chris and Nell, I think they're gonna focus on like entangle. You can just uh, entangle, cure light wounds, and uh, like bless and aid and all that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. That sort of spells, like the buff spells and crowd control spells. Let's just quickly check if they have bonus spell levels. That is no. I think they have like 13 um, wisdom to get like bonus spell, like personal spells. Like pretty low. Uh, I think it's higher. So, uh, 13 is. But as many start getting foot bonus first spells. Oh, okay. Then they both have. Yeah, so thir- bonus yeah, 13 first. is one first, 14 is two first level, and then it goes second level from there. I don't they have the high wisdom. Uh, they should Might- at least have 30, both of them. 13. Oh, and they should have one first level, extra first level spell done. Each of them. So that is um, how many spells are we looking at then? Like three um, or four, I think. Or, I don't know. I think spells. one of them, right? Uh, so, uh, Two and one and three and two, if they're third and fourth, or third and fourth, yeah, third okay. and fourth. Okay, two and one, three and two. And then it would be three and one and four and two, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nell has, what, four and one? No, three and one. And Chris yeah, three and one and four and two. Four and two, yeah. 
And he said, um, a mix of like bless the heal spells and entangle, probably an aid, okay. probably. I don't uh, do you want to uh, chant? Well, I mean, I need to read what chant does. Chant does. Uh, plus one to it. everybody in range. That's the plus AOE. One, plus one to everybody in range. One to hit, one to damage. Uh, 30 foot rated. Oh, yeah, sure, that would work. Okay, uh, so... Casting time two rounds. That could work on the archers for sure. Yeah, do yeah. that. Alright, so now we will go with uh, Bless, Q Light Wounds, and Entangle, and a Chant because she's most likely going to be staying with the archers, and Chris will go with Bless, Q Light Wounds, Q Light Wounds, um, Entangle, because you like that spell apparently. Um, yeah. And then with a um, moderate wounds and a old person. Sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. Right. Uh, yeah, I think like I just follow the advice of the other people for like when we get to dangerous territory, like what they like who to put on watch and all that sort of stuff as well. To they probably know better for larger groups. Uh, figure out near spells. Probably not going to need a dimension of folding unless you want to gate there. Could be doable. Well, you don't have a wizard. No, could not be doable. Damn. Um, so she will go with a bless. Battle fade. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, does she have map? And she does have nap. Level. I feel like we. I feel like I remember um, she has nap because Ismar always loves it when she does it. We're, we're, we're wondering with her. Fear. Uh, a command. And uh, And do you think a detect traps will be necessary? Yeah, I was actually going to suggest that because uh, because of the, the the advice we got from the about half ogres being tricksy. I, I find traps. Uh, I create a battle fade. A furious that is written wrong. Um, a prayer, and here we have a mm, tongues because he's sneaky, and that's it. Clearing is not high enough level to have spells, and even nobody else has spells. Perfect! Alrighty. All right, we did it. With everybody combined into your fighting force, you make yourself. You start walking. Uh, it's gonna take a while. I'm getting, not a while, but a little bit. So. Yeah, you're traveling with a large group, so speed is like reduced. 110 miles and. Width's reduced speed, so yeah, mm -hmm. it'll be like what, like we went like six or nine or something like that. Oh, uh, let's say nine. So nine, so that's gonna be like 12, 13 days to get there. Um, uh, like one hundred and ten miles I to mean, north side, and then we go from there. Probably we'll be traveling like a lot around um, settlements here. So yeah, that's so it'll be a bit longer. Corn. Um, do you get from corn to barriers in one day if you go? Uh, 
you can make it from corn to barriers, but then you have to pay for everybody sleeping in barriers. That's fine. That's like that's, that's like chunk well, we have we have like yeah. we have like fifty people, right? So it's like but like but like buy like fifty silver or something or like yeah, something like that. Like, as I said, chunk money. You throw away okay. some some money for food and and, yeah. and, and lodging and like it's gonna. I mean, yeah. oh. um, I'll I'll just spend. You don't have to pay there. all the money, but you're going to have like to pay a bunch of money for this travel cost as well. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll worry about. I'm just gonna I'll do that later. I'll just spend like ten gold on housing and barriers and go from there yeah. and food and stuff. Alrighty, and then from barriers to you want to travel to the north side. Uh, where do so I guess like what does the platoon leaders and stuff think? Cause I was like my plan is to go from north side to Fori because traveling to the wood seems a little dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know if they have a better idea for how to, how to navigate this. I don't have like any stuff. specific knowledge about this. That would have okay. been um, incumbent upon you to generate that is knowledge. Fair. Yeah, um, so that's they true. Were busy so I've been things. here before. I've been to Befo Ari, I think, before. Mm -hmm. Do I rec do I remember it? What was like the I mean, you've rough been to idea? all of these towns? Like, yeah, I've been to all of these. Ghana, so you came through an off camp yeah. a long time ago. I guess I more meant like after like they got destroyed Befo Ari, I think. Mm -hmm. So like what was like the general layout of the city? Like yeah. was it is it like a I guess like is, is it like is it would there be like defensible areas? Like, they're fucking ogres. They're probably yeah. like would there be like it's a mix of like I don't know. It depends on how the half tricks and half ogres are, but yeah. is, is there like areas would be like easy places for them to put like traps and stuff if they want to like defend it, or would it be like a bit hard to do? That's or is like a bit like an open um, town, so it's kind of like like there's not like tight corridors and yeah. stuff like that. Generally speaking, um, there are um, a handful of difficult places, like in an open ground combat scenario. Um, mm -hmm. It's probably not going to be the biggest issue, right? And considering that you already know that there are some capable, smart people around, um, they will most likely not engage you on open ground, right? So okay, I see. The main fights will probably be around the city centers, uh, the town centers. Okay. Um, you are quite familiar with the um, center of Cape Anna. Um, that is. Uh, uh, yeah, I yeah, will show you when, you when we get to it, right? But like, yeah. um, and you have seen like the center of Befari that has been like, there's like a close settled area that they have reinforced with like some um, barriers. Um, probably okay, that you will have to deal with. Um, so you can't like charge in on horseback or anything. Like, it's going to be a somewhat bloody um, urban warfare that you have to deal with in these two areas. If there's anything okay. in between or anything that you will have to deal up, deal with otherwise, you don't know. You don't know okay. like specific numbers. You expect like size wise like a clan of ogres in each settlement. Um, so like two plus or minus like some like size. goblins and orcs or something. Plus minus a few other creatures that l lurk around there. Um, mm -hmm. Remainers of okay. orcs, probably like the remainers of the orc clans, um, um, slash the orc clans that have already been uh, in with the ogres, like when all of the shit started, uh, or like the orc clans that were like leading the charge against the settlements um, uh, that have been then overtaken by the other creatures. Um, you didn't hear anything about goblins. And okay, so probably not that much. considering movement was never raging through the northern forest, the northeastern forest, that's probably not goblins, it's not a large issue there. Yeah, and the there's like there might be some like wolves, there's like big wolves or something. Around, that's about um, maybe, I, don't know if they, I don't know if they ogres tame wolves actually. No, they do. Not, with ogres, you wouldn't expect them. Okay, and there's like a zero probably shot chance that they tamed a basilisk, so I don't have to worry about that either. Uh, there is a zero chance that they have tamed a basilisk, yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm like, it's the only thing I can think of in those in those woods that I'd be worried about. So I think, okay. So we just have to be wary of traps and then a bloody fucking draw, draw, mm -hmm. draw, drawn out fight mm -hmm. in the center, probably. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, traps and, and as you said, like reinforced places, there were like, um, it's going to be hard to yeah. attack uh, a chance of getting like ambushed around the back and things like this. So. Yeah, Even actually. if like the two big fighters in your group can like hold down a alleyway uh, against unending hordes of ogres, um, 
if it was just a group of like five ogres, you would expect them to run into your swords without any any hesitation, unless they're running away. But um, mm -hmm. with the knowledge about the half ogres and uh, general better understanding of the world, um, could be that they just block the two fighters in an alleyway without being able to move back and forth and run around and skirmish with the archers. Could happen, you know. Yeah, it's there's they can be tricks here. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yeah. So I think like like with all that knowledge, I'll like uh, mm -hmm. I think I will in ge general let like the platoon leaders who know how to lead men like mm -hmm. like you know lead them around. But I think yeah, we we'll, we'll give like we can talk specifics. So that's like the general thing. Is like they they I give them all the information about the tricksiness and all that sort of stuff, and mm -hmm. they hopefully make the best decisions. Yeah. Like in general. Yeah. Alrighty. All right. Okay. You head out on your trek through the fields and towns um you head out when did you roll like end of september is when you head out Alrighty, so let's count days it takes you what did we say so three days to it was like the barriers a, yeah so Three days to get to Barrios, then another Two, forty miles three. to, or thir fifty miles to north side. Okay, so and then there's oh, like I mean, fifty divided like by 50 nine. Fifty miles. Um, no, that Is it not? Uh, like what's the next closest divided by eighteen? That's lower. Uh, so this would be five. Well, it's probably five days. That sounds reasonable. I guess four days. It's four days. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right, it's exactly a week of traveling. Get to the decrepit village north side. Alrighty, you arrive in north side. North side is, I mean, it's not destroyed. Just, just vacant. It's, some, it's just a ghost town. Um, there's uh, not even rats around because there's nothing left for the rats. They have been grinding through everything that's in here already. Uh, yeah. Maybe we just rest up on the north side then, I'm guessing, yep. and then just yep. keep moving on along Take the river to the north side. Give me a hmm, perception check at advantage in north side. Uh, oh, nat 20. Nat 20, that's what I wanted to see. Um, <laughs> one of your, like, you have, like, a setup, like, there's people on, on watch and shit going on, right? Um, yeah, yeah. One of them will notice um, somewhere in the forest as a a fire probably it must be close enough to be visible from north side which is in the forest uh, i mean the forest isn't super dense here at the edge um okay but the fact that you can see the fire from north side means that there's some ha some some shape of a line of vision to north side from that place probably as well is this Maybe. in the woods, you said? Yeah, into the woods. Yeah. Okay. Could be Okay. Could be up to like a mile into the woods with the fire. Okay. It's really a random think... coincidence that one, one spotted this. Yeah, I think Oliver's going to try to go and... Uh, he'll gather up like Nier and Kalir if they're okay with going as well. Like, just mm -hmm. check out the fire thing. Like just the, mm -hmm. just those two because it's probably not going to be a lot of people. It's just a single fire. The fire is like huge. It's just like a, like a small fire, right? It is large it, it's like, seen. Okay, yeah, I think we'll just gather them for now, just to do a scouting party and go ahead and mm -hmm. uh, see what it's up. Alrighty. There, yeah. Oh, that should not have been too front. This should have been layer, token layer. Let's go to the monastery. We need also, I need to put you on here, so I don't always have to grab you. You and your two friends head out into the forest. Uh, let me quickly bring you to a map. Um, somehow there's more vision. No, that is exactly what's going on. You don't have night vision. You also I have a lantern. Shouldn't. Do you have your lantern out? 
uh, be on probably in the hands where my shield normally is. I, so, I, 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 okay, imagine how dark is it? Is it dark enough that I can't see, or is it like? Or, uh, could no, it, like, no, you can like walk through. The, it's not it's not extremely dark. Okay, so I think we'll just like follow the what's it called? We'll just like follow the like we'll just like tra go to the woods and like tracking to go get the fire then for the meantime until we get close just enough. Check here, one thing. Uh, ooh, we need to roll for weather to just see if we're fucked here. If it is too dark, we'll use a lantern. But otherwise, I'll just no. Nope. Oh, I can't. No, no, it is. It is not overcast today. Like it's um like uh it's the end of the uh, past rain. So it's mm. like end. Uh, it's October. So uh, rain season is over. Has been over for a while. So good for you. Not everything's soggy as fuck. Um, uh -huh. But yeah, still. Um, yeah, that is what you see. Like you see this um, fire. Um, you see a uh, few orcs, looks like. handful of orcs. Um, uh, uh, well equipped orcs, as you can see from the distance. Uh, oh yeah. And from time to time, marching through the group of orcs. Um, that should not have been moved. Um, that also should be on the map layer for some reason. It's not. Uh, you also see some ogres walking around. They are just like ogre, ogre ogres. Um, regular ogres. Yeah, regular ogres. Um, okay, I will. Oh, yeah. To your knowledge, uh, ogres don't have night vision. Orcs do, I think, right? Uh, but orcs do, yeah. yeah. So. Considering this is in the middle of the night, could just be that the ogres are sleeping. Yeah, I will. I like whisper to Nier and Kalir and be like, "How many? What do you think we should? Do you think we should? We yeah. gather the rest of the the men and come here. They'll they'll definitely see. They'll definitely notice mm -hmm. and, run, and probably leave or fight." Uh, we'll just quickly point out. Um, it's a bit hard to see on your end, probably. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. The things that are blocking the vision up here uh, are the large tents. tents. And oh, from the okay. fabric you see, these are not orc tents. These are human tents. Um, okay. Which, I mean, okay. they have a spoil of war for cities, uh, for towns, and for settlements. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Can I get like a, how big are these tents roughly? Can I like um, like are they like are like how many people would they would they like reasonably accomplish like a like a many many okay so it could be, could like be like forty like a, orcs or something here. Uh, it could be like forty orcs in here. It could be uh, a full tribe of uh, full tribe of ogres here uh, with okay. like some random things mixed in between. Um, right. Yeah. I will. From the from think the, I'll. From the light yeah. and flickering back and forth, and you're moving a bit back and forth. There's um, three large tents and walls. One small tent, like up here, is a small tent as well. And then there's okay. three large tents. I think what I'll I think I'll like whisper to Nier and clear and get their opinion. But I think I think we should go back, get the men and the archers, and just ambush them in the night. Uh, none of our people have night vision. I think that's a good idea. Mm, that's true. I'm not sure. I don't know how how good the archers would be. They're only there's trees here. Yeah, they you can't. Know? Or you can't, in the yeah, forest. So. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <sighs> the orcs. I'm not worried about. I'm worried about the ogres. But I don't know how I don't know how comfortable you you two are about dealing with the dealing with them. I don't think we should attack without information. Hmm. I guess we can skip, we can move around a little bit and see if we can stay out of their vision, range of vision, and try to see if we can get inf see what information we can gather. Sure. Move around. So I think we'll just I think we'll just like move like because like I yeah, I know Ruvet I can only see sixty feet, so I imagine orcs are probably similar if they have night vision or dark vision, mm -hmm. or whatever it's called. So I can kind of like stay like you know like within like outer range of the fire and just kind of like walk around like yeah. slowly. Also, like from from your knowledge about Ruven, the fact that they made a light is probably also fucking their night vision anyways. So. Oh, true. Yeah. So yeah, because Ruven can't like see, like it's like it fucks with that. So yeah. So like I'm probably I'll like sneak around like hundred and twenty, however like hundred fifty feet away, and just kind of like you know, maybe not that far, but you know far enough that I can see, but that I'm not like yeah. they wouldn't notice the clinking of my armor. Yeah. Sure. You take like a large uh, circle walk around. around. It. I would just give you like some more angles of vision 
Vision is yeah. like not that great because the tents are blocking most of it. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, this is like a leader tent probably. Okay. No, oh, wide, wide Oliver. Oh god, wide! I'm super wide. Yeah. <laughs> does it fuck your vision? No, I don't think it does, but it just looks weird. No, oh, now you're super flat. Okay, now you're back normal. It's always blocked in the tent. Meeting up with your friends. Um, yeah. So okay. from what you were able to see, uh, is like a handful of ogres and like a dozen orcs, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So if you two can hold your own against the orcs, I can definitely take out the ogres. If they, there might be a stronger some person in the tent, but mm. um, like. The, the large problem is that there's an unknown amount of ogres in the tents. Oh, that is true, yeah. yeah. Mm. So as I said, That's there fair. could be like 20 ogres hiding in the tents. Could be three ogres hiding in the tents. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So. But anything in between. How do you two feel about it? Oh, same. I don't think we should attack without information. I guess we should go back then. I guess, I guess we go back to the camp and just. I'm not sure if it's wise to tell the men that their orcs ogres camping right outside, uh, right outside the where we're camping. I mean, right outside is like half an hour through the forest. Oh yeah, it's, it's still pretty close. Yeah. Like for like all things considered, like right, it's, a, it's, a, it's not a insignificant amount of orcs and ogres throughout. But hmm. I think I think we should. I'll, I think we should go back. I'll tell the platoon leaders and they can maybe think of what to do from there. Mm -hmm. I think we make or sneak our way back to the camp mm -hmm. or the uh yeah the, the city the village mm -hmm. uh, well at least you have like some information um, yeah i will I'll, t I'll tell like the higher up people like we saw them out there and like what they what they think they should we should do about it, if anything mm -hmm. see if um, they follow us or um, even be for now military geniuses you have gathered with you um <laughs> We'll take note of the fact that uh, whatever you do, you are aware of the fact that there could at all times be an ambush group behind you. That is true, yes. That, so if you good, march good into Befoari, you most likely are spotted. The Befoari will know that you're coming. And if you ever encounter a different group, there could be a second group behind you. I see. Unless you deal with them now. I think if we're going to deal with them, we have to deal with them in the morning. Else our men won't be able to fight anyway. Mm -hmm. so I think we'll wait until morning and see what happens afterwards. I can, mm -hmm. I can go into the, I can go into the woods again and see if we find see them there packing up in the morning. And we can maybe do figure out what to do with them from from there. Mm -hmm. um, do you assume that nobody has spotted you? Yeah, uh, I think like we'll just. Yeah, I think for now we assume no one has spotted us. For we, I assume they know that we are here, but I think like in Northside, but I don't think that they know that we know. I think mm -hmm. that's like so, yeah, they they know about us, but they don't know that we know that. that, that yeah, you got you got me. Okay. So, we'll, just, we'll still have people on watch and stuff like that, but you know nothing. Like maybe I don't know. Yeah, I'll just have people on watch for now and just the normal people. See go in the morning and then we'll scout them out again in the morning with just the three of us again. Mm -hmm. I'm just quickly preparing the morning situation. Oh, where we get ambushed. Mm -hmm. Can you give me a Dex check at disadvantage, please. Dex check. Mm -hmm. uh, a 13. Nobody, 13. Okay. Um, yep. Ta -dum, ta -dum. Oh, why is that map so far away? Oh, we'll bring you back here and switch this to daylight mode. Um, and also, when you come
come on round. Um, this tent is in the process of being taken down. So that is what you can see from that side. I say. It's a lot of ogres, actually. A bunch of orcs working around. Oh, there's a few ogres on lookout here. It's like, like 10 ogres. Okay. Uh, there's still the other three tents are still standing at the moment. You can see up here they are starting to work on disassembling this tent. Okay. I think with that, knowing that they're still here, I think we head back pretty quickly then. Uh -huh. Like I we we know okay so we know there's a, there's probably like a few more ogres in each tent like at least probably like two or three in each tent then because there's like I don't know maybe more maybe more in each this is like a whole fucking tribe of ogres uh -huh. right here I mean just one two three four five six seven or six seven eight it's like that's like half it's like half actually before we can mm -hmm. see but I think we go back I just meet like pretty quickly really like, see if they're still here and packing up I haven't left yet mm -hmm. and so, I don't what? Wanna... Uh, I'll, I'll see if we want to attack them. I'll talk to, like, all the higher-up people. There's, like, about half, about a half, about a dozen ogres. I think I, I guess I'll have a few half-ogres and about, like, you know, a similar amount of orcs. Don't, should um, we just leave them be, or, or I don't know if they're, or should we see if they're coming after us first, I guess? Considering that they are already packing up, I would assume that they are looking to follow. I guess we can see that, do that, first of all. I mean, I mean, if they're packing up, would that be the prime time to attack, or when they're not fully equipped? Ah, uh, yes. Like ready? If we want to attack, we shouldn't attack now. How many more days until we get to the uh, north? Uh, what's the next village called? Is that called Bethar? Bethar. How many days until Bethar? I guess we can maybe go one more day, see if they're following us, and then we can ambush them the next morning. Uh, if they're next us. night, we will be spending in open. I see. I think we attack them now, then. I don't. And I think they most likely not have any problem with attacking us in the night. So. I think we attack them now, then. Alrighty. You take. Yeah, yeah. You take your marching order. Um, you can tell, still see the map, right? Um, you can yeah, split can see it up yeah. at some point. Where should the other groups come in from? Yeah. So I think. Uh, so I assume this tent's going to be taken down by the time we get back. So I think we're going to be coming in from like this, like, from this angle. I think. And we're going to have like a. Uh, probably just like, like spearmen, archers, spearmen, archers, and like individual people over here. Something like that. Oh, oh. Maybe like a yeah, some, yeah, maybe like a bit more to the left since they're like uh coming in, but like yeah, it's yeah, fine. Something like like in that in that order. Around. Oh, I deleted my token accidentally. Fuck. Nice one. I was trying to delete the drawing to delete my token. Uh, right, can I can get you back in? Oh, thank you. All right. Thank you. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to go like a bit more, like, uh, like uh, move them like five or six thousand to last, and that'll be about where I'm, I'm cool with it. Yeah, and like up here a little bit. Yeah, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. then. I will uh, give you access to Chris and Nell. Okay. Um, they are the follower of your deity, so if you want to murder them, you should be able to. <laughs> perfect, um, perfect. I will have them probably stay. Like, they will also like just go with uh, on initiative with you. Yeah, I'll, I'll just probably keep them with the other people mm -hmm. to keep for support. We're like bless and chance and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will do that. Works. Funny. I assume. I mean, I assume the the the, the enemy camp is gonna spot us. Like. Uh, like, yeah, most most while we're definitely. walking through. You're like walking, yeah, so it's just a question where you're coming from. Um, they will yeah, get so ready. Um, this tent, as you have predicted, uh, wait, no, this tent is still up. Um, this tent up here is down, um, revealing that group of ogres. It's the scary group. What is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> why, why does he look like a dune creature? Like, he looks like the guy from dune. What? Like, uh, do, do, like, uh, yeah, the baron. Yes, it's a scary group of ogres. Right. And the assumption is that most likely nobody's sleeping at the moment. Um, oh yeah, I think we're just. I think we're just. I think like if I don't know if we can get the drop on him with archer. That's probably the only thing I could uh, maybe argue for. But uh, that's if not, it's. Uh, you definitely the archers would definitely be able to shoot before anything comes into melee. Um, 
question is just what can they shoot because there's also like trees in the way and shit going on right so yeah so uh, a bit meh i don't know how, yeah this one yeah so oh sorry but what a bit meh on the on the shooting okay i think they'll just like yeah shoot with like it'll basically just have orders to just like you know fire at well pretty much just shoot whatever yeah. the fuck you can see you go from there all righty so all righty uh what is the initiative for the righteous wrath thing because i assume it's pretty appropriate for it um the three uh that is totally appropriate um the question is the camera. is it the up at the moment uh, that is true. It might not be up. Forgot. I haven't done it a lot, but it's usually when I'm, I don't want to fight ogres and trolls. So, yeah. I imagine this might be more appropriate since I'm reclaiming homes. Yeah. But uh, that's that's totally. my that's my assumption. Usually, would I would say totally, but right now you are attacking. Oh, I see. I'm attacking. I'm the aggressor. You're okay. Defending. You're not reclaiming anything. You're just fighting here. Mm. Okay. That's fair. And also, to your knowledge, you were never able to precast it. Oh, no, I wasn't, I wasn't saying precast it. I was saying that I was going to roll into initiative this round at the start of it. Oh, yeah. I will. Oh, oh, I, I well, have just let me understood die. that you are looking to the inside as well if it is going on or not, and I will let you know if it's up. All right. Thank you. That, yeah. that makes sense. I'm cool with that. All right. Spear then. So. All of these friends are going with a. Um, let's just quickly check speed of sword here. Uh, sword, 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 arming five. None of them have any bonuses on speed. So let's say five. And then we have uh, Tammy, Jambo, Ricky, and Chenis, uh, they're just going to roll fours. Um, Kaliran has a specific, uh, he has a seven, and Nia has a. Ah! Uh, oh, did her um, HP get fucked up again? No, it's not the HP, it's just. I haven't written down her initiative but it's also an arming sword so it should be five she also doesn't have anything that gives her speed no. um so clearan has a seven he has a five and i would also like to just keep initiatives okay yeah it's fine it's gonna be way too much time to reroll it every single round because for all this shit yeah i agree a lot of random initiatives what? up here as well yeah, um, just keep an order. Pinkies, green, pinkies, light greenies, greenies. Uh, fortunately for you, I'm just rolling over initiative, which is high. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a bit. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, that's true. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, they have a slow they initiative. Large creatures. They still somehow go faster than Kaliran, though. Yeah, okay, why they rolled plus nine, Kaliran rolls plus seven, so, you know. Yeah, Kaliran just, you know. Okay, do we have all the colors? Do we have a blue enemy? Uh, pink, green, uh, green, blue, orange. And the special guys. And the special guy has his own initiative. Alrighty, Oliver, you go first. Alrighty. Uh, can I gay? Actually, that's probably not a good question to ask. Okay. Uh, oh, fuck. that's a. You know what? I'm just gonna go fucking hit that ogre right there. Alrighty, go ahead. You you charge, charge at him. him. Alright, you charge at the ogre. Um, that is a um, just plus two to hit, right? For that's a for normal ogre. Normal ogre's AC is fifteen. Okay, so I need to roll a one. Oh, uh, that 40. is a twenty. You crit, and I will okay. let you know that these are chaotic evil creatures. So, um, also double your dice. Oh, double dice. Okay, so that's another 44. So a lot. So 29 damage and so 29, and with your first swoop, you'll fell the ogre. Plunge it in. You're sitting. You are a lucky person. <laughs> okay. 
I right. will, um, can I move? Yeah. Right, so can you do more? I didn't know where I was. Can I, can I, can I move like 50? I, no, I charged. I, can, I can't move. That's right. Never mind. You were correct. Mia's hit points did fuck up. Oh, shit. And she had all of a sudden 415 instead of 41.5 hit points. Um, oh, God. Well, um, um, I wish you also go Chris and uh, Nell. Oh, yeah. So uh, I think they're just going to cast Bless and Chant, respectively. Okay. Um, they Bless and Chant. Um, why, why did it if, if they have to, if Bless has like a people, you, like a. Uh, bless, bless is a has, like, full a... round action. Oh yeah, so they'd just be doing bless fun. So I guess uh yeah, I think one of them had chant and one of them had bless. I don't remember which one. But mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so I guess so yeah, the bless is just gonna, you know, spend Nell the whole has time. Chant and Chris has bless. Chant I think it's multiple, right? I chant is an area and bless. I think no I chant is like multiple actions, I think, or turns. I uh, chant is like two takes two turns, yeah. I turn two rounds. Okay, so the, yeah, yeah, there. That's what they're doing then for the so, yeah, okay, that's what they're doing then. Passing time two rounds and then say 30 foot radius and bless it takes is. one round so it goes into action at the end of the round it's a 50 foot cube where did she, where uh, did she so put it? Uh, how do i do the cube rectangle here we go so uh, uh oh that is not the wrong thing fuck it's this one okay let me okay, let me delete this first okay i don't do the spatial the spatial shit that often uh, okay. Wait, how do you do the... Oh, line, square. There we go. Oh, uh, so... I guess, like... Oh. Uh, like this. Mm -hmm. Uh, bless only affects people who are not in melee. I yeah, have... so I think I would have... All these people, at least like my understanding, they're just going to stay behind and see if the, if the ogre is going to charge them or not, like, for now. Okay, like, uh, that's, if, uh, that is... Um, instruction for the spearmen is stay behind and guard the archers. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Stay behind okay. and just it, attack. Attack if they come to you. Don't go to them for now. Okay. And for uh, the rest of the group is going in with you, the fighters. Yeah, if they want, if they, yeah. Okay. They, so yeah, the rest of the, those people can go in, and then uh, Nia Kalira yeah. coming in. The rest is if they, yeah. yeah, correct, yeah. Okay. People who can actually fight fight ogres and it's probably, probably not best for the spearmen to lose their formation and die. Mm-hmm. They can also like ready it to recharges and stuff like that, so they have something. Mm -hmm. uh, also, they can just shoot bows at them, which is, you know, something. Uh, Not the best in the moment, but. I just need to figure out what, what I'm looking at here. That's the Ogre Clans. Okay, so which Ogre Clan is this? <laughs> oh, I'm on the wrong thing. <laughs> oh no, what is it? This is uh, the necromancer yes. of the clan. Yes, clan number. Oh no, this is like the oh, even an assortment. But from that, I can figure out what I'm looking at. Um. Uh, dum -dum -dum. Oh, okay. Um, okay. 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 Easy. Easy. That's not an issue here. So this is just like all this. It's ogres. Ogre, ogre. Ogre, 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 ogre. Perfect. Okay. Ogre, ogre, no ogre. problem at all. It's just ogres. Everything's just ogres. There's no half ogres in thing. Ogres, ogres all the way orcs, down. And like different types of ogres. True. So, uh, Nia. What did Nia do? What did I say what Nia does? Nia does. I think he rolled in for sword. That is I think true. what you rolled in for. Uh, which is. Definitely. Uh, I wrote in. I wrote everybody in with weapon initiative. Oh, okay. So I should guess. And then, um, I see. But I think Nia should instead of this cast battle fate on herself. That is very fair. Good spell. Actually, are you in range to get battle fated? I am forty-five feet away. Mm -hmm. 
cross battle fate is like a super impactful spell on you. Yeah, because you can get like extra attacks and shit if you roll well. Let me see. Battle Range, fate, 20, 20 yards. yards. Um, nice. It is not, no, not touching a thing of one creature. Perfect. Maybe, yeah. Perfect. Alrighty, you get battle fated. Oh, and it gets like higher bonus if you're higher level. I forgot about that. Four, cool. nine, um, how many rounds? Two rounds per level. Okay, let's let's go with nine here. It's fine. Okay. Uh, and then so I get plus three, I think, for your shit. You get something. Whatever it is. From shit, whatever it is. Uh, Janice, uh, Janice and Jambo. Uh, oh, Janice has arches. So seven archers shoot with like mm, slightly Penalties. occupied vision so this is a uh, two. Let's quickly get like the EDM sheet up here uh, dum -dum -dum. 50 percent cover minus four uh, all right so like 20s or something Give me like seven d twenty plus one. Uh, I uh, I'm I, shooting at these like, up here. That's like where I'm. Yeah, going. so you want to do like seven d twenty greater than like what's the what number do they need to hit? Um, they need to roll. Uh, let's ogres. Um, these are something something ogres. Doesn't matter to you what they <laughs> are. AC is fifteen. Um, so minus. Four plus one, so minus so three. They so. need a nineteen. They need an eighteen to hit. Uh, zero hits in the first zero volley. Zero hits on the first volley. Amazing. Um, Jambo has spearmen. They do nothing. And up are blue ogres and orcs. Again. Everything that is blue moves now. These two see you having clubbed their friend and will charge you. Well, then uh, one hit. First attack is displaced. First attack is displaced. They both roll and annoyed as they both miss you with the displacement. Not, nah, you're not where they think I am. Coming Slam out from the, the tent ground. is another ogre who will make his way over here. He's not taking 60 feet fight on, taking more away than it's necessary. Who will also swoosh and miss you. 27. And then that matters. Screaming out of the tent with like the teeny tiniest um, screamings <laughs> uh, small ogres what the f wait what oh they're small hey okay they're like baby ogres okay okay Fuck it, they're evil. Fuck it, they are evil. That's that's the spirit. That's what we all want Look, to hear. Look, my ethos is protect people that are, protect the homes of family people that are good. Okay, not evil. Yeah, true. They also, they wins. literally have human tents, so they they definitely pillage human villages. So I don't really feel bad about them. How about these ones? Uh, these are ox. They are fast but they hide behind oh, that is tree true. because they're smart uh, they've got nine ends instead of six also hide behind tree this one come over here hide behind tree this one come over here uh, one more tree hide behind this tree this one come over here hide behind tree there's a tree and then walking out from this tent. Uh, no, this not in the tent. He wasn't in the tent anymore. He's like this big guy, but he only has 90 movement, so he stops here. And at the same yeah. time, roaring out comes this guy who stays like behind here and screams an ogre. Okay. And then Pink comes running forward. Uh, Pink walks rip, 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 running over here. Over here, uh, this one also follows over here. This one has two dots for some reason, but he shouldn't have a yellow dot, so let's remove this one. 
and that was pink and up is Alex who will run up here see this orc and will swing against the orc there's um, a lot right now what is that to hit? six Fifteen against an orc with at max fifteen. Good oh, nice. Hit it. God, perfect. It Just exactly what you need. D eight plus four for nine damage. Dead orc. Or can't live. Easy peasy. Yeah. Two shots, two kills so two far. Two shots, two kills. And up next is Need, who will do something else, uh, something similar. Charge up here. He is charging. He sees this oh orc, God. right? Um, Sneed, is, brave. Uh, Sneed is super brave. He's he's here to earn a promotion, you know. Um, <laughs> in the and worst way possible. In the worst way possible. And we swing his sword uh, with a a 10, 11 against a 13 AC orc, which is not oh, enough. Oh, you get plus two charge in? Oh, true. He has plus two yeah. in his charge. Although this is enough. And swings for three points of damage which is not enough to kill an orc you know unfortunately yeah. sometimes oh. the best have to die young <laughs> okay yeah don't hit all right game. more ogres up next is orange ogres and for some reason i have two ogres with no color that is bad they should probably be orange as well uh, tell him one is already dead, so he's not doing anything. This one grunk, 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 stops here. But can't get it close enough to attack this one. Also, grunk, 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 grunk. they are getting around Sneed. Um, yeah, that's why I said it was brave. It was like he's running into like a bunch of people. Right, he's come running up here, and then we'll like, stop here in front of the boss. Jesus. And then green goes. I now I realize that I'm almost done with all of these creatures. This one, like, doesn't really know where to go. Oh, there's an ear, like, she's going to block an ear from advancing. This one run, runs up here. Um, the ogre sounds are overwhelming. Ah, this one gets, ooh, in melee range of the blue group. And yeah. up next is Ricky oh, wait. and Tammy, oh. group. Where's blue group? Did blue did blue spears have ready attacks? No, uh, they don't have. Okay. Them. Nobody has ready attacks. But up, oh, I didn't know next... if they went early in the initiative and prepped ready attacks. Ah, uh, no, they go now. Um, okay, perfect. Okay, that works. So now goes Ricky. Ricky. So green Ricky. archers can fire. Pew pew pew. Fire Where do they shoot? I imagine they're fire. I imagine they're firing over here, not in the melee. Alrighty, so, can... so minus two. Uh, do they all? Yeah, so... uh, let's go down and be a bit random. Where they shoot? So first yeah, half goes here, any hit second first. half goes there. Uh, okay, it is so a 70, 20, 15, minus 2. Uh, so they need a 17, they need a 16. 16. Uh, two hits. Two hits. Uh, one uh, in last, one's, one's, in the, so one's in the first. Two yeah, one in the first group. Oh, that's 2d5. I wish I could take those rolls, but oh, same damage, it doesn't matter. Right, so one six, one six, four. Six damage, this one takes four damage. Alrighty, and then blue group goes. I imagine can, the like, guys in melee are gonna stab them, yeah. Get around here to get like four attacks on this one. Uh, the others are like, staying behind, like maybe like moving over a bit here to block the archers better. So give me four d20s, they all need uh, 14s to hit. Uh, unless, wait, this is a... Uh, oh. Yeah, I think it's only got rolled 116, so I don't think... 116, the 16 should hit anyways. Uh, these are normal ogres, so that's 15. Yeah. Uh, so 2d4. One hit. Yeah, 2d4. Five. Five points of damage. Alrighty. And then... Oh, that was Tammy. Next up is Malina. Malina. Seeing the right side getting a bit like flanked in here, she Locked. will run over here, yeah. charge into this ogre man here, and Ooh. will swing her sword. Uh, Malina is the. 
Oh yeah, Alex was hitting an orc. Yeah, sure, she's getting d12s for hits, but she rolls a 4 on her die, which is like really, really bad. And there's no uh, way yeah, we can... Bad. No, no, she doesn't have... Yeah, she needs like plus like 10 to hit. No, she has... 3, 7, 9. Nope. Oh, uh, damn. So oh, close. Oh. And then goes Kaliran. Kaliran with his big sword. He will rock in here, supporting Sneed, and will take the biggest target that's in front of him and swing his cleaving two-hander to smack that's this right, guy's he head off with a big damage natural is. 15 that is a oh nice i mean it's not a crit but still Three i mean six it, plus he something. hits it is um he hits for 3d6 3d6 plus seven damage which oh, sure. is decent you maybe kill if he rolls lucky. That is 5, 6, 7, 14 points of damage. He rolled really bad. Alright, oh, that is this and then Oliver's second attack. I will stab this one in front of Go me. Ahead. Uh, you can't miss unless you roll a 1. Yeah, I just need the uh, 29, yep. so you said at least double damage as well? Yes. So 4d4 plus 12, so 26 damage to this one. His that's that's ease. Uh, every that's ease. creature you are fighting that is not an orc is our uh, orcs chaotic evil. Just quickly check if have I don't to consider remember. orcs. They yeah, are like definitely evil, evil, but are they chaotic? They are lawful uh, evil. Nope. Okay. okay. So if you attack an orc, don't double your dice. If you attack anything else. I, I'd be surprised if there's an orc that could live ahead anyway. Yeah, they have max 8 hit points. Uh, so, so really orcs. Um, that is well, I think archers get second attacks. Oh, and yeah, that's about can, it. Um, near is. Oh, okay, six, oh yeah, seven, I, five, so she gets a second attack. Oh, she uh, does not I think it's, seven, it's seventh it. level. Anyways, it's seventh level, I think, as well. Seven level? Isn't it six? Yeah, it's, it's seven and twelve, I think. Let me check, I'll check real quickly. Every, every six that. levels. Uh, oh, seven and seven to twelve, three and a half, thirteen and up, two, two around. Yeah, it's seven. Oh. Okay, it's seven. Then she doesn't get yeah. second attack now. Unfortunate. Um, oh, she doesn't get any attack anyways because she cast it bad fate on you. Oh, true. Yeah. Um, which we should at this point check. It's a six, so you're gonna have to take a lucky you. All right, I'll I'll attack the uh this one then. Mm -hmm. Uh, do I get a? I think I get a bonus to hit, but it doesn't really matter. I think for this uh, case, so. do I get a bonus to damage. Uh, you get it. You rolled a six, so you get a you get an additional attack instead of any. Oh, that's all, okay. I I thought I misremembered yeah. it. All right, so twenty one damage for this guy then Ooh. on the south. Ooh. Ooh. Did he live? Oh no, God. Burns, but he is just angry. Oh, uh, I rolled okay. below average, unfortunate. So um, Jembo does nothing. Did we skip archers somewhere? Oh, Chenis. I uh, no, no, we we rolled the left archers and they missed, and then the right archers hit like one, yeah, yeah. like one person. Um, but now I just skipped the left archers. They get this second shot, which they right, can so is... take where. Um, uh, they can take it like over here, right or left. Which yeah, one? probably left because I just, I mean, actually no, I just take it right because if they, okay. that's where like all the, the, the right is like nobody that's really big over there, mm -hmm. so I just shoot right side. Okay. So Seventy twenty. 19. Uh, 19. Oh, 18. 18, okay. Uh, one hit. One hit. Four. So on which target? Uh, it was the first one, so probably just like, I don't know. I, I, yeah. I just, it was like, I assume they're shooting like this glob, yeah, so sure. probably like the first guy in the glob. Yeah. Or one damage. Right, and second nothing. archers are also I shooting on the right side. Moment. Up next is oh, Alex. Alex is not 7th level, so she doesn't get a single attack. You nerfed your group substantially. Good job. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Sneed doesn't get a second attack this round. So, second group of archers, yes. Alright, so 16, I think, is uh, what it was before? 15, 16, 17, 16, yeah. Okay, uh, two hits this time. On the uh, second one, it's which the, is the green one. Second yeah. one. It's for six damage. Six damage. So, Tammy does nothing, Melina does nothing. Kalir and get his second. They roll really bad. He's sixth level. Oh, two attacks per roll. Oh, Why does he have two attacks per roll? Uh, I don't know. 
we get get some cool what magic shit. I think because I went with six level to level up attacks per round. Oh, uh, okay, that's fine. If you want to do that, that's fine. I just I don't remember. Where's it written? Uh, I'm looking at per. Uh, I can find table. the page number. It's on table fifteen. Table fifteen. In the player's Very handbook. Very many attacks per round. Yeah, then I'm just I'm just wrong. He should be one and a okay. half, but not two. Damn. Because he I is. I did nerf myself. He's six level. Oh. He's not seven level. My Damn. mistake. He doesn't have anything that gives him. No, he just he... gets like every other round, right? Doesn't have Around. mastery. No. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Fuck. Alrighty. Uh, okay. We're back to up. Oliver, you go. Uh, uh, Battle Fate is a free, so Battle Fate says. Apply bonus to saving throws. The bonus is plus okay. three. So if you make That's a saving throw, plus three. Okay. I'm gonna ask something. Mm -hmm. Uh. Oh, this is, this is it's just stupid. I mean, it's not really mechanically, but it is a little thematically stupid. But I was gonna just attack, just move and attack this guy. Sure. The leader. It's two attacks. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Two, yes. Yeah, so I'm fine with that. And I don't know if these guys. You have to pass this yeah, one these guys. Way. Yeah, I'm fine with that. So I'll just I'll just take them. Yeah. So I think a back attack, but so no shield, so, so twenty five AC. First two, the highest is a. What did you say? Twenty five at the moment. Twenty five. No, no, twenty four. Oh, no, no. Yeah, twenty five. Yeah, because no shield. That's a plus three. This is a seventeen. And then the other guy whiffs dramatically. Uh, yeah. And then the you special guy. Away. No problem. Yeah, he whiffed. Uh, the other one okay. showed okay. lower. Uh, I don't think I can charge because I'd be a little weird charging when people are attacking me. So I'll just do a regular attack. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that guy, uh, uh, thirty five. This guy will intervene. Okay, I will attack him then instead. Yeah. Oh, this guy will also. They were, they are protecting the boss man here, so they will move. Uh, 19 to this guy. 19 to this guy, and that is enough damage to fell the oh. beast. Can I use the rest of my movement to get into melee with the big guy? Uh, or that, 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 that's the like second attack thing. You, so oh, that, that's, that's true, yeah. They are trying okay. to prevent that, exactly. That's like what I they're see. doing. I see, I gotcha. Alright, yeah. uh, that's it for me then for the first okay. attack. Alright. Uh, Nia will probably like take the force here and jump forward and swing at this man here with a like Nia is so good to hit and she always rolls so bad. Oh, she, yeah, she I believe higher than fine. a two, so that's amazing. She rolled a two, <laughs> so she hits. Uh, these are large creatures, nice. so bring out the d12s. Yeah, the rare d12. Where's the d12? Here it is. That is a 11 on the die, which is pretty decent. And then we need to check for bonus damage. Uh, plus two, really? Is this um, true? Oh, one, two. Does she have strength and magic? I don't know if she has. I think she had strength before. I feel like I remember her having yeah, yeah. strength. Yeah, she has strength, but I'm just checking. One, oh, okay. Two. And like Get that weird sword. It should be a three, not a two, because she has gloves of war as well. So that is oh. three, four in total. So this is fifteen damage. Nice. Janice. Janice is group archers number. No, archers one. Archers one. Uh, I guess you're shooting over there into the right mm -hmm. side again. So four. Uh, next. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I can I can deal with myself over there. So. Uh, 70, 20, 18. Oh, three hits this time. Three hits, amazing. Uh, uh there are. I'll just roll the damage first. So it's six, six, two. Six, six, two. So. First and then one it was takes one six. on the first one, and two on the second one, and the second Alrighty. one takes eight. Second one dies. <laughs> it's dead. Jambo Already. Uh, do they stay put? Uh, let's quickly check if they. Oh are. wait. Fucking, uh, one of the groups should be a. Oh, wait, we, I forgot. I don't oh, think it matters at all, Nell but. And, and, uh, yeah, Nell and Chris were. Yeah, well, yeah. So, uh, Nell, uh, one of Nell them should have chanting, finished chant. So, Nell yeah, is. That... Finishing yeah, chanting Chris... at the end of the round because it's rounds. Not yeah, and then so... Chris got blessed yeah. last round. So, so I don't think it mattered any of the bow here. shots, but. Oh, I don't think no, it mattered any of the bow shots. Bow shots now. Yeah, so, uh. 
You let me see if it mattered. Three. The last shot, it didn't matter at all. No. Uh, it was because the highest was a 13. The second highest was a 13. Um, an eight it matters because the second arrow would have been a crit with bless. But oh, it's, uh, okay. It's so against the guy another... who was already dead, so it didn't matter. Okay. All right. Um, Good for the future. I'll, um, I'll so, mark down the, the uh, all, last radius. All, they are all blessed. Um, so uh, all the of these people are blessed minus the four things here. So let's just give them a... Oh, true, yeah. They are not blessed. Okay, Everybody else like, from the Shira groups is blessed. The last six rounds, I believe. Mm -hmm. Probably longer than this. Uh, thing does, last. What, does Chris do on this round? Ble oh, bless. Oh, uh, what does Chris do? Uh, what other spells do they have? Uh, I don't remember. It's... Cure that wounds, cure that wounds, entangle, hold person, cure. Uh, he will cast entangle. Oh, wrong thing. Uh, and like this group over here. Mm -hmm. uh, this... Entangle's range is. Uh, uh, Entangle, uh, 40 foot cube, 80 yard radius, a range. Uh -huh. So, 40 foot cube. So, uh, let's get a 40 foot gonna, cube here. Uh, probably not there because I would hit the ally, so. It's not a rectangle. That would also hit ally. Uh, I kind of uh, can I spot the cast? Why? Oh, sorry. I'm clicking on rectangle. Oh, and it's giving and you it's cube giving me... circle. Oh, because I'm clicking oh. on alt. Okay, that's my mistake. I'm just stupid. I should uh, just do this. Uh, forty foot cube is what you said, right? Yeah, it's probably like this. Is what I would 40, oh, like because I would not hit any allies and hit all the enemies. Wait. Oh, is this? Wait, is it? Oh, is, oh wait. How is it? A, oh, that's forty foot wonder. Oh wait. Oh, that's a. Is it would be more like this. Oh, yeah, it's a forty is foot a, radius that you did. Yeah, so okay, this is still I'll still do it like like this then. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, one more up, wait. This like that. This, yeah. I hit all those guys, yeah, pretty okay. much, yeah. Perfect. Alrighty. Um the orcs Oh, those are not orcs. <laughs> it's yeah. baby orcs, not orcs. Um what do we need to do here? Uh, uh saving, saving throws saving or they can't throw, move. Can escape the area. And if they succeed, they get a they can move ten feet per round. Exceptionally large, gargantuan, or strong creatures. Okay. I mean, you are in the middle of the forest. This is like the prime area to cast a spell. So that strength is true, yeah. should be more than 18 necessary. So they're not getting They're not ogres, out of though. there. Remember. Yeah, keep, keep, keep mentioning they're not ogres. Um, they can't be ogres. All of them fail. Okay, so they can't move then. I think yes. until the, in the last uh, 10 rounds. Turn. Alrighty. Um, Perfect. Uh, Jumbo decided not to do anything. So up next is Blue. Guys, uh, guys ran away. You from ran away, them. so this guy will follow up and try to bash your head in from behind with a okay. natural twenty. Go ahead, you can roll it. You can right. roll it. It is a nine. That is not good enough. <laughs> uh, what? I was, I was, um, um, Baby over here will run in and they have a plus zero to hit. Rolls a twenty. How unfortunate! <laughs> How unfortunate! Okay. The shittiest, the shittiest guy. <laughs> I will let you know. This guy has one hit point. Okay. But oh god! One hit point. Rolls oh, a d twenty. Rolls a twenty, and then deals three damage to Alex. Uh, you know this guy the little babies are the real, real here. dangerous ones. Yeah, you, you know, you don't really want to defend against them, so it's actually hard. Um, yeah. That is not enough to clear Alex's AC. Um, what <laughs> do we have else in blue? This guy who will... Oh no, you know, this fucking guy over here. He will charge behind you as well. Try his luck again. That is a... 17, 18... Uh, 18... 21 against Beck. No, 25. Yeah, 25. My math's not right. My math is wrong. My math is correct. Yeah. Got lots of magic. Sure. Why did I give you all the good items? Uh, this I guy... have a rear protection plus four in the cloak of displacement. It's like that, that alone gives me like half my AC. Okay, this small ogre over here is smart enough not to run into the entangle. So he will come around here ready to murder humans. And up next is yellow group. Uh, yellow. Uh, this guy will turn around. 
now, unbeknownst to you, there's an ogre magi coming. Creature. That is something at least. Let me just quickly check what they can do. Um. <laughs> Net at me, that'd be that'd be annoying. Oh no, he's not netting you. He is checking his spell books. Oh jeez, are they actually over magic? Yeah, something. I hope not. Uh, do you need... spooky. This this this. this. Wrong thing, I need this one. Um. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, this doesn't work. He's annoyed by his spell book, and instead of casting his spell, will do something else, which is. Mm -hmm. Attack near. It's a good idea. Always a good idea. Attack near. You roll when so poorly. When doubt hits the thing, oh, rolls no. a twenty-one. That is good enough to hit near. Um, da dum dum four. Ten damage. Yeesh. Oh, that was yellow. Then. What do we have here? This is Orkman Yellow, who will hit Sneed with a 14. Sneed has 15 AC. Sneed has more than 15 AC. Sneed has 17 AC. All of them have 17 AC, except for the Archers, they have 15. Uh, that is Yellow Yellow. There's nothing Yellow the Orcs over here. here. I, don't, I don't know if those are Yellow. I don't know if these Orcs are Yellow or not. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so this guy jumps up behind the tree and will ambush this man with a ooh, 16. Oh, oh it's probably had to be no shield. He's flanking. That is at least a 17 right. because this guy is fighting the ogre in front of him. Oh, true. Yeah, that's um, a hit. So he rolls his damage, which is three points of damage. He's alive. He's alive. Sure, nice. And this one will charge into the group of archers because that is what a good orc does and we'll Alrighty. get this archer here with a 16 that hits oh god two points of damage yes revealing that he has more than two hit points um that is nice, yellow, okay. yellow 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 all yellow has gone big man <laughs> And then he will take a step over his dead friend here and will smack you. He's, he's, a he's coming he's, into the melee. He is coming into melee and he is going to murder you. He swings his massive mace that he has in his hands. And oh, it's an action. Oh, okay. Bonky over the head with a two. Okay. Unfortunate, you know, happens to the best <laughs> of us. Uh, is this guy also like yep. quickly rechecks his spell book if there's anything cool in here that he could do and decides no. to have to bring the cool spells cast a spell channeling channeling in ogre you have no idea what he's doing oh is he targeting me he's targeting someone okay relax i thought he was looking at me okay yeah think what do you want to think We'll think as a magic flesh appears around the leader man magic flesh oh magic i see flesh of magic uh, I we see. Okay. need to finish pink man's first 
um, there's a pink orc up here who didn't go before, but he will like sneak in here and be heroic and try to flank you. Um, oh. I need to keep in mind that the, all enemies against you roll with minus one because they have stupid orcs. Oh, that is true. Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't think it's matters so far, but I still they think they definitely. They are all evil, these guys. They are all evil. Over here. These guys come over here. to run so far that they can't attack. There's one more. Hundred five, ten, fifteen. Ah, that is all the pink man's done. And it's Alex's turn. Who will retaliate against the fucking ogre baby that just hit her. Misses dramatically. And Sneed. We'll try to finish off the orc in front of him with a 14. Oh, fuck. Sneed, Sneed, what level are you, Sneed? Sneed! Sneed. Sneed. Yes, this level. That is a plus 3. 13. What's orc? Natural AC. It's 10. They have leather armor. So, ooh, it's 14 to hit an orc. Unfortunate. Does he have any reasons to have an additional plus one? He's not charging. No, it's just a just a 13. Unfortunate. Poor Does he miss? Poor Sneed. He Dang. He misses. All right, oh, and up guys. Over number one, who has just been hit by Kalirin, so he will retaliate and try to smack Kalirin to the ground. Out of a four on the die, that's not good enough. This guy behind Kaliran will swing and miss, and this guy will turn to hit Sneed into the ground with a natural eight. <laughs> that's oh, a bit Sneed spooky. Dead. That's a bit that's spooky. This is this ogre. That is a twenty-one that does not crit. Lucky. Sneed. Oh god. And a small boy. Unfortunately, he only takes. Four points of damage. Oh shit! That's actually that sounds not that's not nearly as much as I thought. Yeah. It's good. Okay. Uh, this orange man is dead. This orange man will try to murder you uh, with a six. That's not good enough to murder you, as you will be getting fully surrounded by ogres and orcs up here, as this last one that's also fine. tries to murder you with a um sixteen. 20 flanking? Nah, no. Nah. Non shield side? No? Uh, no, it's still uh, 25 with no shield. Mm -hmm. Cigar. They're gonna have no, no dice. So, green augers go, and for some reason, these sleepy augers have woken up as well and will run over here. The battle is in full effect. This one will try to murder me. That's always a good tactic. Um, with a 16, he will also hit. That is a normal ogre. Oh, that's a lot of damage then. Uh, I hope not. You're all bad. That is... Nine points of damage. Oh man, if Nia dies here, I'm gonna be mad at you. Just letting you know. <laughs> that, I would be upset too. This one turns on Melina and tries to smack her into the ground. It's also a good idea. But with a... Uh, 12, that's not good enough, and the last one will. Mm. Uh, uh, take the one in the middle and ramp his head un, unsharpened into the ground. I don't know if this works in English. With a 18, that is a hit against, fortunately, the healthiest of the group. That's oh, the only lives? one in the group who could survive a hit by an ogre. All right, let's see. As he takes 11 points of damage, the 10 hit points friend here. Oh, damn. <laughs> Dies. Uh, oh, unfortunate. Blood unfortunate. has been drawn. The first, the first death on our first side. to fall as one of your strongest warriors. And it is Ricky's group. 
All right, there's so that's a the... bunch of orcs that I have come here. So yeah, they're gonna start shooting them in melee, I guess. Like shooting the orcs. We will also engage here. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know how, how do I under... oh, they also all get plus one to hit because of the bless. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I don't know how we want to do the archers into the melee because like, it's kind of I don't know how that we want to do that. Um. Like how like some of them can maybe shoot in melee and some can shoot at the ogre. Uh, I think they should all have like some short swords and like switch to short swords here. Okay, so the short swords then are gonna start surrounding the. Yeah, so like just going around this. The so these three that are in melee here will melee, and the other three can decide if they want to continue shooting or surround. Uh, they'll just shoot at the ogre then, yeah. Shoot at uh, the ogre. That is true. Two groups of people. That's a bad idea. Uh, is the oh sorry, is the ogre not big enough to shoot out to you know make it uh, easy to shoot? He's standing behind a tree. Oh, that's true. Oh, so yeah, so really bad here, yeah. like. Yeah, so let us let us shoot in the ogre, the orcs then, I guess. Okay. Don't Possible. Ones. So, I'll do three d twenty for the melee. Uh, uh, uh whoop, I, and then I miss, the miss, one. and probably crits. So, two d six. Uh, yeah, seven damage on seven probably damage. the I don't know, the third one. So, oh, that one lives. Damn it. Yeah, but Ricky's right, and then on the, the case. The true, Ricky's on the case. All right, so. Uh, are you rolling or am I rolling? Uh, I'm rolling for Ricky because I'm not okay. to hit here. And then uh, these three archers are gonna shoot at the, I guess like those misses. orcs. So, okay. Uh, uh, 15, uh, 16, 16, 9 against these orcs. So, uh, mm -hmm. that is exactly what you need to hit. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay. Uh, two and six. I imagine. I don't know if they're on the same orc or different orcs. So it I'm probably is like. Orcs. Okay, so two and six respectively. Does not really matter in this case because one of them dies. Okay, and then it's the spearmen next, so they can avenge them. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, uh, Temi will take this place of the fallen friend here. Okay, and then. I think this spearman should attack that orc. I think that makes sense because uh -huh. he's getting attacked from behind, and the other ones are gonna attack the ogre. I think still. Yeah. So uh, I'll just roll for the one spearman first. Get the orc, and this one can get the baby ogre. Uh, yeah, yeah so just I'll... give me. Yeah, um, roll. Just roll five to uh, twenty, and I'm taking from top to bottom. Okay, so I think uh, they all get plus one, one as well. Yeah. So uh, no, no, some, some of them don't. The may some of them don't get plus one. But the plus one. So give me forty-four against the orc. Uh, nine. Good one. And then, um, uh, that is a three hit hits and hit against okay, the two hits. ogre. So okay, so 44, six and two, eight. so eight. Uh, then one hit against a uh, one um, hit against the baby ogre. Seven. With one hit point again, that's like two baby ogres with one hit point. And then the <laughs> orc is getting missed. Okay, that was you know, okay. not and too bad, all things Temi considered. Temi goes as well, rolls a five and misses. Yeah, we'll to check. Uh, Malina. Yeah, Malina. Okay. Malina is in combat with one ogre, so she will try to murder a ogre. Uh, that is a. Um. That's a chance to hit. Um, Marina does not have bless, but that is a 16. That hits. Nice, nice. For yeah. bring out the yeah. twelves again. Seven points of damage. And not bad. Kaliran goes. Kaliran swings against the ogre in front of him. And lops his head off. Not a problem. Second attack, Oliver. I will stab the big boy himself. Yeah, already. Uh, yeah. Uh, ooh, manifesting it. So yeah, is he chaotic crit. evil as well? He is chaotic evil. So that's eight d four plus twelve, yes. right? Or is it sixty four? No, sixty four eighty four. Damage gets doubled in fury. So thirty one. Damn. Thirty one. That's actually really, that's kind of below average, I think. Right. Uh, Still a lot of damage, I'm not gonna complain. It is below. Uh, I, think it's, no, I think it might be exactly average. Or it's pretty, it's close enough. Yeah. Oh, wow. uh, 
a second attack for Nier. I will give her the second attack now because then we have all second attacks on the same round. Like, uh, like yeah, that yeah, makes sense. Um, but. that is a hit again. Nier finally, you're hitting shit. Okay. And See, you just gotta put her on life for that situation. Another ogre gets his head lopped off as Janice goes. Janice? Uh, that's those are bow, bow those are archers, oh, I think, right? Archers. Why do they I think, shoot? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of like what area they can shoot at that would make sense. Because there's like a tree right here. There's like a kind of a tree right there. I guess it literally like the only over here makes sense because that's like the only plot spot they have like a sight in. They shot in. Um, Unless I'm mistaken. Because sure. the others... Yeah. Like, like if they that's can shoot like, like a... Minus four shots yeah. again. Uh... Uh, Stray arrows might hit your armor, so that is fine with me. Somebody so, wants a one and a twenty in a row. It's bad. Seven, no, seventy, twenty. Uh, ooh, miss, maybe miss, 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 miss the last one. Uh, against who would the last one go? I'm ass yeah, probably like this guy right here or something. I'm assuming they're like, or I don't know, one of one of the guys in the melee probably that I'm in. But okay, wanna roll. we can roll for random if you want to. One, two, yeah. three, four, five. I know who it hits. Five. It hits the, it hits the wizard man. All right, so he takes four damage. Four damage against. And the then wizard. after this round, they uh, they get a plus one hit and plus one damage. All those archers. Mm -hmm. Next round or next round, I mean. Right. Uh. When they all don't get second attacks, fortunately for you, Alex gets a second attack this round and will not attack with a D12, but with a D20 and I want to roll properly. Ooh, baby Ogre AC baby. is 14. And then she rolled a 5. That's not going to work <laughs> out. Like Alex, why? God damn it. Alex is the new near. And Sneed takes <laughs> a second attack. Sneed is a mighty warrior and will try to finish off the orc in front of him, which he hits. And oh, probably kills it. Orc has two hit points. Is. Oh yeah. Wait, Sneed has a sword. There is a chance that he... No, he has plus two on his damn shot. The okay. orc is dead. There's no chance he doesn't kill him. Uh, Ricky and Tammy. Ricky, our archers. Oh, true, the archers, yeah. Uh, three archers. Three archers, so they're just going to be shooting at these two, I guess, mm -hmm. one at each of the orcs. Makes okay. sense. Because just make it easy, I don't want to have to worry about it. Uh, 20 for 10. Crit, so, miss, miss. 20. Uh, is the 20 a crit? Yeah. The 21. Oh, sorry, is it a crit? Yes. 26. Okay, I didn't hear it. 10. The 18 point orc with max HP. Oh, the healthy orc, yeah. Right. Falls to the ground. Uh, um, Tammy gets a second attack as well. Where was a 5? Why? Uh, Ricky also gets a second attack. Ricky rolls a two. Ricky, oh shit! Malina. They're they're sucking away Nier's bad energy. Takes a second there. swing. That is a hit for uh, two, uh thirteen damage. Almost dead ogre. Kaliran takes a second swing. He whirls around and smites the ogre behind him. With a 25, but not critting for 6, 10, 12, 20, 9, 19. Let's double check Kaliran's bonus damage because it matters here. Um, if I find it here. You said plus 7 before, but. Yeah, I said plus 7. I'm double checking if it's plus 7. Um, there's nothing from strength. How does he have a plus seven? Two? Magic and mastery? Oh. And... Well. Really? Hmm. I think he's got a sword. Is his is. sword? Is his sword really just fucking broken? I mean, it is, <laughs> but... Uh-huh. It is just broken. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, there you go. Yep. 
Um, but unfortunately, it really is just plus seven. Um, okay. So he deals 19 points of damage against the 28 points ogre. Oh, damn. That sucks. Yeah. And right. we are at the end of the round. So, whatever. We go again. Battle fate. Battle fate. Battle fate roll is a five. Which what is means that one? Let's see. Damage plus three. Okay. I will need it against this big guy, maybe. Mm -hmm. So. Which are 35. Hit. So, uh. 4d4 plus 15, so 22. Bring him down. Uh, Chris and blah blah blah. Yeah, and Chris then, and Nell. Uh, Nell no, can, they both can. Uh, Nell's gonna keep, Nell has to keep chanting for it to be an effect, I think. Yeah, she has to be chanting when she can move. No, she can't. I, I read, I, I made sure she cannot move. It sucks. She cannot move? I didn't. No, it's like, it says they have to be stationary. Okay. Alright. Uh, by me, uh, uh, making sure. Yeah. The caster continues to chant the domestic syllables at a stationary. Uh -huh. Okay. Alright. That's alright. Uh, and American. Chris? Uh, I think he is going to walk up to this guy and cast Cure Light Wounds on the archer. Uh huh. 28. Uh, uh, three. Two. I've just back to full. And then it is Nia's turn. Nia will also turn around here. Swing her sword with a natural 20. Nia. Oh shit. Sure. Amazing. So I'm gonna be honest, this is going a lot better than I thought it was gonna go. 2d12. We only had one casualty. So, so far. far. Yeah, so far. So far, that's the key word, yeah. I, I don't have d12s ready, it's just surprising to no one, I think. But, well. <laughs> That is my second D12. Alright, Mia, this guy has a lot of HP. You okay. cannot kill him, I think. But you can roll at least more than average damage. Um, that is... Uh, 21 damage. That is too fast of the guy's hit points. Shen is uh, archers on the left side. Okay. They do the I'm same thing to think. again, probably. Yeah, same thing. They just shoot into like uh -huh. this blob of melee over yep. there with plus one to hit this time. Uh, yeah. So, plus two. whatever. Plus, oh, plus two, right. So, uh, they hit a one and Give a 115. A, another 2d20. 2d20. No, just one. Uh, That's a 19. Oh, 19 then. That's a 20. To hit your back AC? No. Yep. It just okay. ping, it pings off the magic. Yeah. But Alrighty. one hit, right? F uh, the 15 yeah. hit? The first one hits against this guy. 1d6 plus 5 damage. Uh, why do you roll plus 2? The chant gives like. Oh, it might be is it just plus 1? Plus it, gives, one. it goes to. Although, does it does not go to attack with... damage rolls as well? Uh, yeah, but plus 1 damage. Oh, I thought it was 2. My, I misread it then. No, okay. Plus pretty, 1 yeah. damage. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, so plus one, that's so a four damage then. Against one of those guys, so D5. Yeah, I only take some, took someone. Oh, okay. And, okay, that's them. And Jembo then these is spearmen. holding his ground. I I think it should probably, I don't know, yeah, they should hold hold the ground, so they'll fuck mm -hmm. it. They're not good, they're, it's fine. If they think it's a little bit dire, they can Alrighty. go in. Blue go. These have ready attacks. Two hits against you. Uh... One, two, so they that is still a... Still feeling ready to fight after their leader's fallen? They are furious. They will murder you. That's what they live okay. for. That's their job here. They are all okay. still blocked here. There's nothing down here. So there's just two baby ogres against Alex. With... 17... No, they don't hit her. They literally need a... No, they wouldn't need a 19 to hit her. Don't. Unfortunate. The two against you have already missed. The others are blocked in the entangle. So we go to yellow group. First against near. Nat 20. Oh my god, stop rolling so well against near. 23 against. 
17 AC. Oh god. Nia, 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 you are in trouble, my friend. Alright. Nia takes... It's alright. 10 damage. Oh, that's actually really good. Or not, I thought it was gonna be higher. Yeah. Uh, Leader okay, Man is good. dead. Oh, I think there's more yellow creatures probably. This one is blocked, this one is dead. This one is dead. And uh, there's none on you. Okay, no, yellow is very low. You're dying. People. Um, so next up is pink. Um, so pink orc, he is still hard on the money. He is grinding, but he does not grind hard enough. As <laughs> the other one, what does he do? You cast a spell. That's what he does. No, oh, he doesn't have a second level spell anymore. So he just cast a first level and will do this one. Nice roll. And it's Alex's turn. On Alex, you got this. You can kill. You can kill, kill over babies. Piece of shit ogre baby with 14 AC, so she hits and cuts this guy in half, probably. Nice. He's dead. Sneed, he's the mightiest warrior of them all, turns around to smack this last ogre behind him, swings his sword with a mighty 14 on the roll, which is good enough to hit the ogre and will deal. Seven points of damage to yoga, and we have orange and orange so green. One hit against Sneed. That is a not big enough. One hit against Kaliran. That's also not big enough. Um, there's no orange there's down here. There's two orange against you. They will try to clover you into the ground with a something something and even less something something and then we have green left one will swing against Molina with not enough to hit her this one down here he is the smiter of men he will yeah. turn and you know there's like this wounded looking human up here he will bonk this guy into the ground with a mighty no. Net one as he instead of hitting the guy, like gets his club. Well, he's attacking with his hands, but for prosperity's sake, he gets his club stuck in the tree and <laughs> does not manage to kill him. This is like life is so unfortunate. As Perfect. this guy will leap over his fallen friends and will try to smack you. Let's remove the move away the dead people here so we can see him. And with a Leaping, smiting strike, uh, miss against you being this place that she is not aware of. And this guy will continue running and close in with Sneed here, but he is too far away to attack him as Ricky goes. Ricky and is the group. No, it's yeah, Ricky, Ricky the group. will yeah. stab the guy in front of him, finally hitting something with his third attack, this combat. And you can do the rest. Yeah, so uh, I'll do the. So this archer is gonna move up to here, I think. Yeah. Like, to, oh, like move to here because there we have the short sword out. Yeah. And then they're gonna be those. He's gonna be the three archers in melee. Uh, seventeen, six, and thirteen. Yeah, the first one hits and then miss and miss. Right. Or oh, three. And the last one on... is flanking, so the last one hits as well. Okay, so it'll be three and six respectively. Uh, three up here. Oh, I'm six down here. Oh, I need to reduce hit points now. Sorry. And Temi. Uh, and then those are the spear. And oh, no, also the three archers that can shoot. Oh, yeah. are going to shoot into, the, into those guys as well. Uh, I 13. Miss, miss, miss. Okay, yeah. Now it's, the, now it's them. 
All right, uh, Spart Spearman. Temi already missed. All right, so there is one, two, three, four, five spear, uh, three spearmen with uh, just regular hits, uh, and then two spearmen with plus one to hit. Mm -hmm. uh, so seven, uh, so sixteen uh, against the ogre. Um, that is then, um, one hit, two hits, okay. and a crit. So four, four, so eight. And then uh, 12, so 20 damage to the ogre. They managed to fail the beast. Nice. And Malone goes, swings the sword with a 9, 12, 16. It's amazing for enough damage to kill this guy here. And we'll then move over here to support near Kaliran rolls of a d20 on his attack roll instead of the d6 and the d12 rolls a 4 um, but he rolls at plus 11 15 oh wait actually never mind I'm gonna say maybe the ogre should have been sure on a minus one because Kaliran has a minus. I don't know if Kaliran has the same thing as I do. Ah, that is true. Kaliran is I don't, I, it's, a it, paladin and should reduce. Yeah, it, it will do it going forward because I don't wanna. It's way too much to worry about. I don't think. It, 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 yeah, we'll just do it going forward. Um, now. It's not worth looking back in the chat. Why does looking he back. Have plus 11. That's why he has plus 11. That is correct. He has plus 11 to hit. So he kills the ogre. And nice. Um, will jump over here to intercept this guy up here to press him into fighting him instead of friend Oliver second attack. Yes. Uh, okay, I still get the plus to damage, so I'm just gonna attack the green one. Mm -hmm. Okay. 34 plus 15 for 26. This is like the death spot up here. I know, it's just, it's just a pile of ogre corpses on this one spot. Every single ogre that steps into the spot is dead. <laughs> Instantly. Right. Nia doesn't have a second attack. No, no. Jembo archers? No. Uh, uh yeah, archers. Wait. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, I think, yeah, there's firing over there yeah. still where Oliver is, so that is one, one two, two, three, three, five, six, seven. seven. Eight. Uh, uh, seven. Seven, D20. Uh, I think one hits me. Nice. And then Miss. I'll throw one hit against me. It's a miss. Um, and, uh, those, are, those are at plus one, so. 21s, but minus two, so 19s. Again. Uh, Sorry, against 15 AC, no crits. Okay, so 2d6. Yes. Or is so it 17? Yeah. Okay, so two damage. Two damage. One of them. Um, wait, this is one, two, three, four. I said against this one. And then the 17, which is an 18, minus two is a 16, does hit. Uh, for uh, six. So this is this guy. Alright. Alrighty. So that is nothing. Then we have blue, two attacks against you. A one and a twenty. Good enough. Um, that is blue, blue, blue. One baby ogre. Misses. There's nothing down here that is attacking blue. They are still stuck in the entangle. Blue is no more. Then this guy will swing against me again. Misses. Okay. Oh, it's three. That would have been like fucking annoying. Okay. Um, that is all on yellow. And then we have pink. Um, Oops. So One guy, pink guy? Oh, there's. The orcs down there as well. Use oh, his second thing here. And then. Um, this is that. Uh, pink is what you're on, right? Yeah, pink. Yeah, pink. Pink, pink, pink. Need two orcs. This one will try to murder the guy in front of him with a 12, which is not good enough. And this will try to murder an archer with a 7, which is also not good enough. And mail is worth investing in. One. Oh, this, oh, the mighty orc up here will try to murder you. Oh, that's true. The best, this is the greatest orc in the land. 80, 20 against you. Hmm? Try is the best. 
Okay, doesn't hit. No, no. Then it is Alex's turn, who will... Uh, Kill another baby ogre. A baby ogre's head off. They are not babies. <laughs> just... Ogre children. They're just tiny ogres. Sneed will go and stab the ogre in front of him, but misses. Oh, he has a sword, he doesn't stab. He swings his sword and misses. As orange uh, goes, retaliation comes swift with a eight. That's not swift enough. Um, two orange against you with a not enough and not enough. They literally need twenties to hit you. Not just bad, yeah, that's, bad, bad, yeah. bad mojo. Bad ogres, bad ogres. And green, oh, green, one green against Kaliran. Let's see if he would have killed Sneed if Kaliran did not step in here. Rose a 13, which is an 18, which would have hit Sneed. Does not hit Kaliran and would have dealt 11 points of damage. Well, Sneed would have survived. Unfortunately, right, Sneed. Right, uh, Ricky! Right. Ricky and the boys. All right. Uh, so we got those three archers in melee. He runs behind this guy also trying to stab uh, him. Ooh, 15 on one of them. Oh uh, yeah, that is a hit and Ricky also hits. Or four. This guy has only two hit points left, so whatever you roll, he dies. 50 combined and one of them damage. Is four. And then three arrows against the last one. Orc. Orc. Yeah. Uh 15. Miss hit miss. Miss. Alright, four five. Or five, also killing the orc here. Nice. Alrighty. The orc. All the orcs are uh, down. Ricky's group is stunned. Tammy's group. Uh, is I done. think they just chill. I think, I think they regroup and like re like reorganize themselves. That's about it. They're to hit this guy. Rolls a hit and deals. Ooh, max damage. Leaving the head on. Oh, I know the ogre head is Always too far from the ground. She doesn't have a two-handed sword. There's no cleaving heads for her. Oh, but damn. the head cleaver himself goes next. Kaliran exactly. Swings his two-handed sword. And he hits and he deals. Six, seven, nine, sixteen damage against the fifteen hit point ogre. Yes. He dies. Second attack. We're in cleanup. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, 1d20 plus 18. Uh, a crit on, I'll just say this one. Now I'm going to go in an order. He's dead. So, okay. I'll just roll the damage just in case it matters. Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. 10 hit points. You can't not kill. Okay. Uh, Nia, um, seeing that everything here is dead, will turn around and look. Janice. Arrows? Yeah, so which are arrows? Which one of these guys? One, two, three, are these four, guys. Five, six, yeah, seven. they're one, two, three, four. Yeah, they're just gonna shoot into my yeah. uh yeah, melee shit again, so seven. Uh miss, miss, miss. Pius is a miss. hit. So two hits. Uh, uh two it's two sixteens. Uh yeah, I'm just thinking of the fifteen hits. Uh that is a fifteen AC, they have Plus two and minus two, so the 50 also hits. So there's two right, hits so. up here and then a third hit down here. This so guy five, three, only four. Hit point left, so this damage is for nothing but four damage against the spell man here. Alright. Chambo's group is still chilling. They have like yeah. not been in combat. Yeah, they've had. The no, you know what? They've been holding the line. They've been threatening yeah. the enemy. No second attacks. Alex has. Takes a step forward, swings the sword against the ogre man here. Ogre Behind. Man, uh, at least plus four, so that hits. Um, four, five points of damage. Bad damage roll, bad damage roll. Sneed, stab. No, swings the sword. Also, a natural 20 critting. That is enough to kill this ogre. Dead. And Ricky. Uh, our, there's three archers can shoot, they have I guess. Nothing to shoot. Uh, they can shoot like these guys, right? 
these guys in the in angle. In theory, they could, but I think It's fine. They'll they spend time regrouping. Yeah, they'll yeah. spend time regrouping at that. Tammy does nothing. They just, they just regroup, yeah. Melina has nothing to hit. Kaliran has nothing to hit. Takes a step forward to get like closer to you. And it's beginning of the round. Alright, battle fades. Battle fade is it's the only thing that might matter. Uh, the plus bonus to attack rolls. Okay, so to you, you can't, you exactly. Can't okay, on another one. crit on yes. this guy. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, thirty-seven. Oh, same as the attack roll, finally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, slaughtering these ogres one after another. <laughs> that is good enough to kill him. Yeah. Um, uh, all right. Nia checks her spell book. Does she have anything interesting to use on herself here? Because that's a bit of a wonky situation here. And decides on a no, because she does not have healing spells. Right. Instead, she will like, take a few steps back to not get like hit by anything else. Um, Janice Archers. Uh, which one of oh, these guys? Yeah, it'll shoot into that big one, guy, two, I guess. Three, four, on, on. Yeah, they all shoot on him, and then on ones we see what else they hit. Uh, yeah, one hit. So, um, against me. Yeah, in theory, oh. is back attack against Could hit Kalira, Skull, too. Right? So, yeah, I'll roll it. Okay. It's an eight, so. Uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 16, 15, 16. That hits. Uh, that is a. 22, 24, 22, 23, crits, 15, 16, 17, 16, 20, 22, 20, 21, that is a hit, crit, hit, crit, hit, crit, hit, crit, so 1, 3, 4, 6, 28. And the second D20 are just for the one, so. Yeah. Dealing enough Pepper damage with arrows to and kill guys. this guy. Chambo chills. Uh, and then we have Blue Man, this guy. The fight is lost, but still, maybe they can kill you, misses. Uh, there's nothing <laughs> else blue that can fight. There's nothing yellow that can fight. There is nothing pink that can fight. Let's like quickly remove them. I think it's just this one, these two and guys, X. and then the, these guys. Cleans the sword, like, this combat is over. Walks over here to, like, assess the situation, what to do with these people. It's neat, yeah. hollers, and is very happy with his accomplishments here. Um, that is, what is this? Hello? Are you? Or another ogre? This seriously wasn't around. Oh, orange probably. But orange is already all dead. So green is also all dead. Ricky. They just chill. Ricky just chills. And Tammy chills. Molina has nothing to hit. Kaliran takes another step up here. Swings at the backside of this ogre here. That is a 17, which is good enough to hit. Ah, uh, that is a d12, which I said should be 3d6. Um, 4, 10, 14, 25 points of damage. <laughs> Oliver. There's seen one the greatest threat alive. Left. Left. <laughs> I'll give him a look and be like, you sure you want to do this? <laughs> the red in his eyes tells you everything you need to know. All right, I hit him for uh, enough damage. Twenty. Yeah. The combat is over. I assume you just pick off these guys with arrows and then tangle. I right. mean, you can walk in there and just stab them. Yeah, it's, it's like probably, it's either that or shooting. Yeah, <laughs> probably <we're>, faster <laughs> and less yeah, yeah, resources. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go and <laughs> clean them up. Yeah. I'll just, you want to roll us like what a couple of hits uh, against me at the rate. Oh wait, it's eight rounds of entangle, right? It's ten. It's a one turn of entangle. So a I one don't, turn. So I think. Yeah. So it's been. I don't know how many rounds. So, uh, so it's, it's been. The cast on the second round. So yeah. I think they are free this round, actually. No, no. Because no. count eleven, right? Is that, is that eleven people or is that eleven rounds? That's been. I don't know uh, what the count means actually. Count eleven means we are 
technically on the sixth round now. Because oh, okay, we so then. Everything twice. Yeah, okay, so I'll just, uh, what's it called? Yeah, I'll just, uh, go and slaughter them so you can. No. Just roll you can, like, like 10 feet per round walk through here, so. Yeah, 10 be. feet per round. I guess we got a save and throw, so maybe I, I fail the save and throw. I don't. So yeah. I just 10 feet. Ooh, I, just... I, I don't think you can get everyone. Uh, okay, I'll get as ma I'll do like I'll, if because it, you can only it hit like five feet and walk, uh, five feet of yeah. walking and hitting. True. So, I'll just get as many of them as I can then. And go from yeah. There. So, so the two blue people over here are left at the end of a round, uh, at the end of okay. a tangle. But and I I'll think probably... that is not much of an issue. Everybody's ready to smack them. Yeah, like literally everyone is probably surrounding them with yeah, stuff yeah. of Getting smacker root. Already. Already. The yeah, first combat killed. has been. Officially yeah. finished. It was a lot more than I thought it was going to be. And we only had one casualty. You know, honestly, not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. Let's we'll heal everyone. I guess we heal moves. everyone up with. And see who needs healing. Let's see who has spell slots ready to heal. I have two cure light wounds and a uh, lay on hands as well. Yeah. I think I'll lay on hands near and then cure yeah, light probes the two guys, yeah. the, the small guys. Uh, oh, I'm just gonna roll the cure light wounds now because. Uh, you lay on hands on near, so that's 20 hit points. Right? Yeah. Yeah, just 20. And then I think there's some. Yeah, this guy's low, so I'll lay on hands the, the blue guy that's, that's low for six. Um, I don't think anyone else is injured. It's like not well, uh, the small guys. I think it's just like the bigger people. Um, there's three hit points, uh, four hit points missing on Sneed, three hit points missing on Alex. Uh, I'll heal Alex, sure. Burp two. That's all my healing for the day. Okay. Kaliran will also lay on hands near, which gives 12, but we only need nine. Okay, back to full. So only Sneed is left with hurt. I mean, he'll be he'll be full health tomorrow though. Um, there is like some spices. Um, oh, what's there's a cure moderate wounds and two cure light oh. wounds. Still left oh, I'll just do a, I'll do a cure light wounds on him then from a uh, Nell or Chris then for six. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Uh, we did it. You did it. Give I don't want to keep going for now. Give us a, a hell speech, speech about hell. your lost comrade. Yeah, I'll, I'll give I'll give a speech about Carl how you know, like has died. Bob. Bob, yeah, Bob was a great fighter. Yeah, I mean he held his own against an ogre. Not many people can say to have done that. It's a tremendous accomplishment that many been not many men can can say they've uh, they've done before. It was very extraordinarily brave, brave them. <clears throat> you will you will be remembered. He'll be, rem he'll, be, he'll be remembered, and uh, it is it is through his through this his sacrifice that we'll be able to uh, make it we made it as far as we have, and make it and to be able to make it even farther. The group cheers, and then get to collect the spoils of four. Do you collect spoils of four? Uh, I mean, I'm I'm less collecting spoils of war and more curious what they have because this is like weird ogre stuff that not normal ogres have, like they don't have human tents and that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So less like I mean I'm not gonna stop the people from looting, but I'm not gonna loot myself more. Mm -hmm. Just seeing like what what they have that like what they have that's different from regular ogres. Mm -hmm. Ah yeah, they will produce a like assortment of random coins, which I guess you don't care about. Yeah, they can take it as far as I yeah. care about. Uh, and the then they will procure one strange thing. A um, clay vial. That is sealed with a cork and lever. Um, which they will let you know that they found it on the big guy. Okay. I will just hold on to it, I guess, for now. Yeah. Okay. Cast attack magic tomorrow to see if it's magical. Please uh, add one ogre bile. Yeah, one. Does it weigh up a lot? Uh, it is heavy. It weighs like one pound. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. I don't 
know if we want to keep going from here, but I'm getting a little tired. I don't uh, know if we have another huge combat or not. Uh, guess uh, that's more a... combat to be done. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I think we can stop. That's fine. Having this good yeah, stuff yeah. Here. Okay. I will. You I'll just attack magic on the wild. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So just more of the same kind of. Yeah. Um, detect magic is a bit inconclusive. It is like not really magical, but also magical is like just weird. In between. Middle ground. Yeah. Okay. I see. It's okay. definitely not a not a jug of ale. Okay. Most just, definitely does something yeah. weird. Uh, it's Alrighty. also not, that is for... not a magic potion, if that's what you're looking for. Okay, so it's something different. Okay. Um, I mean, it's, maybe it's ogre magic, which is just complete trash magic. So, who knows? Yeah. 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 Alrighty. You know what? Not no one that we care about died except for yeah. Bobby. <laughs> I wanted to be care about, yeah. Poor Nia, she's you always know was... getting smacked around. Yeah, that's true. Mm. I, you know what? Went, went well. I, I was very, I was very, almost certain that half of the fucking spear and shit were gonna die when, like, the ogres got into melee with them. <laughs> oh, well, that entangle was pretty yeah. fine. Uh, the fact they all failed was really nice. Yeah. Oh, well. the entangle it it was worked big. out. Like, six more oh, thank you. people down there fighting, yeah. and then shit goes to hell pretty quickly. Oh yeah, they would have. It would have like just getting like one more person to melee with those spearmen, they would have died because like it was it would have been hell. Mm. Oh, well. Yeah. well, thank you for running. Yeah. Hopefully. Thanks for playing. We we need a and second no session to find out how many more people die. Yeah, how many people? No, they don't. Not uh, there will be martyrs. Okay. <laughs> That's the time. All right. We're mart. We're making. We're making. We're martyring them. Mm -hmm. Great. Alrighty. Well, then. thanks for playing. Uh, we yeah, thank you. Meet again. Oh, it's chat about when we play again. Yeah, sounds Until good. Have fun. Yeah, all right. Peace. You as well. Bye. Bye.